It's free. Talk live, and you can bring up whatever you want. Just dial toll-free to 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Skype into the show. Username there, lrn.fm. Of course, you can bring up anything just like you can there on the front page of our website, submitting content right to the front page. Very easy process to do. Go and get involved. We're actually going to give you some content from that front page here in just one moment. And we could also give you a pound of free coffee. If you go to coffee.freetalklive.com, there we have a subscription program that we've worked out with BuzzBox Coffee. Um, you pay for the shipping. We'll pay for the pound. It's delicious coffee. It is uh, organic, shade-grown, top 1% grade Arabica beans. This is the best of the best coffee. But one thing about BuzzBox Coffee is that it really, they have a whole different philosophy around um, the people they work with and the people that they wish to serve. Because we've partnered with BuzzBox, we're able to give another microloan to a family around uh, the world who are living in poverty every time we get 10 people to sign up um, at uh, coffee.freetalklive.com to have their coffee delivered by BuzzBox. Now, BuzzBox takes very good care of its workers. Uh, they have programs that uh, allow people to get into their coffee co-op. They grow their coffee sustainably. It's um, mm -hmm. and this organic things really kind of awesome because, you know, when it comes to coffee, you don't know if they've been using DDT or leaded gas when they're, uh, you know, driving around there. And that's a big deal. Coffee is a very absorbent product. But if you want to help people, Help yourself. Get, um, just go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Get your free pound. Try it out. See what it. See see how you enjoy it at coffee.freetalklive.com. You can't go wrong with that. Free pound of coffee. Just pay the shipping cost. You're good to go. And it's very good coffee. It certainly is. So we uh, continue here. Of course, we'll take your calls if you dial in toll free, 855-450-FREE. Saw this story right on the front page of our website as submitted by Celestrian and voted upon by perhaps you. From KRQE.com, former, this is Santa Fe, uh, former sheriff is changing his tune about DUI enforcement. Santa Fe County, Florida? Uh, KQ, uh, no, that's nope. that's West okay. Coast, so. uh, or west of the Mississippi. Santa Fe, Santa Fe, I think, okay. New Mexico. Santa Fe, yeah, New Mexico. It was a little after 9 a.m. on a Monday, or 9 p.m. on a Monday night when Santa Fe police got the call. Sylvia Solano, age 21, had just driven a white BMW convertible into a brick wall in a sleepy south side neighborhood. Okay. Ms. Solano was taken to jail, arrested after blowing a point two four. She's pretty drunk. Yeah, Miss Solano was uh, hammered. On a breathalyzer, the BMW was taken to the city impound lot. Because it was Sylvia Solano's second DUI, or DWI, the city kept the wrecked car under the city's DWI forfeiture law and then moved to seize and sell said car. I wonder how wrecked it was. Um, I guess she must not have hit the wall too hard because, I mean, that sounds like, that sounds like a totaling situation to me, but maybe I'm wrong. But the car isn't Sylvia's. It's her dad Greg's car, Greg Solano. On this night, he says, I hadn't loaned it to her. I didn't know she was taking it. Oh, of course. He says. He's throwing his daughter's a daughter under the bus for a, um, a, a stolen car charge. Greg Solano was Santa Fe County Sheriff for eight years, resigning in 2010 after he was caught stealing and selling department equipment on eBay. Oh, God. It's ironic that he would have his car seized because, as Sheriff Solano pushed for the county to get a DWI forfeiture ordinance of its own. Because Solano says he didn't give his daughter the keys, nor know she was even drinking, he appealed to the city to be considered an innocent owner and get his car back. Hmm. The hearing officer denied him. Solano said that because I knew that she had had a prior DWI, they said they could take the car. Under city rules, the administrative hearing officer only determines whether there was enough probable cause to make the DWI arrest. A car owner can claim to be an innocent owner, but they are only considered as such if they didn't know about the driver's DWI past. Any other cl So apparently, if your car is stolen by somebody who's had a, a DWI that you knew about, then you're liable for it? No, what he's saying is is that he has lent, lent the car enough times in the past to his daughter that his daughter would um, assume that she could borrow the car. Um, I mean, you know. He could, says he didn't give the keys, so it wasn't like. What does express permission mean? Hmm. All right. So I have a vehicle. 
that a vehicle, um, you know, isn't, I have a vehicle that's in my name. My wife has a vehicle in her name. Okay. Now, yeah. if oftentimes I drive her vehicle and oftentimes she drives mine. At, she doesn't ask me, hey, Mark, can I borrow the car? It's true. But I don't tell her that she can either. But if you didn't know that she had borrowed the car, what if I was away, you know, on a business trip, and what, or you know, what, what if I was away and both cars were there, and I didn't know if she had taken one car or the other? Well, what's not clear here is he says that he didn't give her the keys and know she was drinking. So it sounded to me like he, at least, he's pretending. Maybe he didn't. Maybe this isn't the real story, but that she took it without his permission. But, but that she just took his mean? car. Look, either he's willing to press, um, you know. Charges against his daughter for stealing the I car, in my opinion, or he He's is yeah. just coming up with a bunch of crap. Look, when my wife takes the car, I don't give her the keys either. That's because she has her own set. Under the city rules, again, they uh, decided that he was still liable because he knew she had a DWI in the past. Any other claims of being an innocent owner can only be determined in court. Solano says the whole process felt boilerplate. And that the outcome was predetermined. <laughs> Gee, maybe he knows how some of us feel now when it comes to these laws and how it, it is one size fits all. And that, you know, that's what the boilerplate idea is, oh, sure. is that, look, you're just being crammed into this system that has has these rules and these rules are you know, supposedly ironclad. At least it seems that way for us little guys. If you are... A current bureaucrat, or in a lot of cases, a retired bureaucrat. In this in this case, this guy is kind of a retired, but by force, uh, he was fired, or was he fired? Anyway, yeah, he, he was left fired because for theft. He's, he was stealing, so he's not on the uh, he's still not on the inside track like he used to be, and so therefore he's treated like one of the rest of us. He's now. a hoy polloi now, and, it, and probably it, even worse. It, actually, it's a sucky feeling. I mean, it it feels like these people don't care about you, and they don't. Or even if they do, they can't because it's the provision of the job that they can't give you an exception to this. So according to the story here, krqe.com, he says, this has changed my perspective on it a lot. <laughs> Not just because my car was taken, but because the whole process just seems so stacked against you and seemed so unfair. Solano says, while he doesn't regret that law's effect keeping some that laws affect keeping some drunk drivers off the road he now believes a lot of innocent people are losing their cars because of the law yeah. and he's probably right well, but too bad it took happening to him for him to realize that i mean if if you're gonna have a law like this that law shouldn't be written so that um you know somebody's held somebody else can have their car taken i mean ultimately they just if they're gonna write this law it should be just look if you've got a car and you were, you know, then your car can be taken. It seems ridiculous that they can take somebody else's car from you. So he is bringing in an attorney, by the way. and uh, I'm glad that he's got the money for that. I wonder how he got that money. City of Santa Fe isn't backing down. However, the city attorney is saying they're fully confident the ordinance is constitutional and will hold up in court. So there they go. Find out what happens. Hopefully, more coming up here. You can take control on Free Talk Live. Gentlemen. In search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com I'm a very bad man, and I'm outside your house. I see you've got an alarm. Outstanding. Because houses with alarms always have the coolest stuff. Unless you've got a door devil reinforcing your door frame. I'll kick your fancy door just like any other door. And I'll be gone before the police even get the call. Don't worry, I'll try not to make a mess. <laughs> door devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths. Or visit doordevil.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. 
FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at FPP.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot freetalklive.com You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm That's cam.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. And if you care about your online privacy, you need to know about ProXPN. ProXPN is a global virtual private network. It encrypts your online data, so before... Something gets to your internet service provider, it leaves your computer encrypted. Your internet service provider, all they can do with that is just pass it along. They just pass it along to the next server, the next router, or whatever, and it routes it over to where you need to go. First, going through ProXPN servers, where it's then de- uh, de-encrypted and sent out to the rest of the internet. So the idea is that right now, your ISP is probably logging all the websites you visit, all the search terms that you're entering. They're creating logs on that, keeping them up to five years You can stop that from happening by using ProXPN, and you can start with ProXPN right now by going to ProXPN.com slash FTL. You can start for free, but you're going to want to upgrade to their premium package for 5 bucks a month, and you get the $5 price by using our discount code FTL20 and buying the annual package at ProXPN.com slash FTL. Again, code FTL20. Get you 20% off for the uh, the premium account for the lifetime of the account, which is an incredible discount. In an incredible period of time that you get it. This isn't some introductory offer. That's a lifetime 20% discount just for using our code FTL20. They've got software for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, Android devices. Plus, there's a different setup for Linux. Just email their text and they'll help you out with that. ProXPN.com slash FTL, promo code FTL20 to get the deal for Free Talk Live listeners. Regardless, you get a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and ProXPN does not keep logs of your online browsing habits. Plus, with their premium account, you can also choose the server that you want to connect to, and you can privately torrent 
Go and get started at proxpn.com slash FTL. As we continue here, uh, there's all kinds of interesting stuff in the news here tonight. Woman has been arrested for wiretapping her own arrest. Uh, she was charged with that, I guess, for wiretapping her own arrest. And one in five people would have sex with an android. One in five people admitted to being willing to have sex with an android. This is true. And I guess, uh, well, let's get into the story here from CBS Atlanta. I think that, uh, by the way, it probably has uh, just to do with how good the android looks. I bet you that would be the case. In a survey of changing attitudes between human beings and robots, nearly one out of five said they were willing to have sex with an android, despite more than one third of respondents saying they fear that machines will threaten the human race. <laughs> <laughs> A poll conducted among 2,000 members. They'll of, make great pets. <laughs> uh, these are British folks who are, by the way, saying this. 2,000 members of the British public by Middlesex University. I wonder if it would be different and how it would be different in other countries. I, I couldn't say. Uh, despite uh, Let's see. So they found out what humans think of one day walking, talking, and apparently progressing even further with robots on a daily basis. <laughs> in addition to the 17% of people who said they're prepared to have sex with an android, more than 1 in 10 claimed they would care for the fruits of such labor, with 11% saying they want a robot child. Me? What? Ugh. The care for what? Okay, so one in ten people thought that said that they would care for the robot baby they the created, cyborg baby or whatever created yeah. by having sex with an android. That's what they're saying. Do they yes. understand <laughs> how sex works? <laughs> I'd say it's safe to say one out of ten don't understand anything about sex. It sounds to me like the person writing the question doesn't understand how sex works. Wait a second. <laughs> Just because you had sex with an android doesn't mean that android can give you a baby. But it could. I mean, well, in theory, could. right? In the in the Battlestar Galactica but it doesn't updated series, they do. It doesn't have anything to do with sex. Oh, wait, they don't get pregnant in that series. They look. I don't know what. I don't know how to describe what they. Never mind. Too uh, too sci-fi. It's been too long since I've seen it. I suppose that an android could take some of uh, your take a sample of your DNA mm -hmm. and then. Create another Android baby using some kind of information. There you go. See now you're thinking. Created with the DNA. Obviously, those ten percent were thinking a lot harder than you on this. Yeah, one, Mark. I bet they were. So eleven percent say they want a robot child, similar to David from the movie AI. I think that in order. Here's my opinion on having children. You should have raised at least three robot children before you get a chance to raise a real one. <laughs> Um, you need some practice. So, with the robot child thing, technically, aren't all robots like children? At least in the beginning, they you would have to teach them things, right? Like the robots they could come with the information. I suppose they could, but robots, at least in science fiction, they they're never quite in the loop. You know, the <laughs> robots are usually, you know, you look at like Data from the Star Trek series. This is how I feel about you, though. Maybe I am a robot, Mark. Back from the future. I don't think drive so. you insane. No. They wouldn't um, have that hand-shaking thing that you've got going on. <laughs> <laughs> They'd make it better looking, too. Thanks. So, anyway, the idea being that, like, at least in popular culture, the robots have to learn things. In the Terminator movies, you know, they kind of have to teach Arnold certain things that he doesn't know because he's a robot. Here's the cool clothes. Where are these? Yeah. Anyway, one of, this, uh, one of the study recipients said that science seems to have gotten the edge on sex. Quote, it seems to have got to the stage where people would rather have sex with something that knows exactly what it's doing, where we know exactly how it will react. And one thing I know about the CBS websites is they love to reset on me every now and then. Yeah, I hate that. Um, um, you know, th this thing about having sex to uh, sex with an android, it seems to me that the vast majority of the of the public would have sex with an android based on how it looked. Well, I mean, if they didn't know, right? Like, would it be one of those things where if you're having sex with a transsexual and then, or you want to have sex with a transsexual, but then you realize that some people get upset about that? Maybe it would be the same thing with a robot culture. Like, I tend the to robot would look really attractive. You'd want to have sex with it, and then you'd find out, hey, you're a robot. Look at all the hentai, um, you know the. Japanese cartoon porn that's out there. You look at uh, magazines like Heavy Metal, which is a cartoon magazine yeah. about drawings of women. These are I mean, niche things, though. I mean, people are 
comic books aren't niche, are they? Yeah, but comic books where take you're a, having sex with robots take are probably a look at pretty Power niche. Girl. No, what I'm saying is is that they draw the lines on pictures, sometimes lines on paper, sometimes with color that, you know, of women with, you know, and, and men and they're attractive or whatever. I mean, these aren't real either, but people like them and they like them for sexual sure, reasons. Sure. Imagine for a second, Ian. Imagine that you could have a sex partner that was uh, f- stunningly attractive and thought you were witty, smart, <laughs> attractive, just attractive, always wanted you when you wanted you wanted wanted to do what you wanted to do. What makes you think the robots will be like that? Was uh, f- fidelity because they're programmed to be. <laughs> This is a, I'm sorry, but this is a, a, a computer uh, blow-up doll. and That's how they would start, but what about the robots that have more intellect? What about the AI? They're not going to waste the their time have, doing the ones What about with the, the pillow talk robots? I mean, what? The ones with the intellect are going to be busy building the machines that will take over the world. The other th- uh, in that in the meantime, they will have the souped-up <laughs> dildo uh, robot, um, you know, keeping you busy. Well, and because uh, people will be having sex with robots, they won't be having sex with each other, so population will be uh, going down. Like we don't result. really need that many more people. Just people, yeah. um, you know. It, it, if we are the larval stage of a machine race, we only need enough people to get the androids up and running. Well, I think there's some other social factors that are going to come into play, like bias against robots. I mean, right now, I humans, think there certainly will. Right. I mean, humans have a problem with there's being bias against SUVs bigoted. currently. What happens when you uh, deface an SUV? You go to jail. What what are you trying to say? People have do people have a bias? Do some people have a bias against SUVs? Yes. Okay. So what? Big I just fat, mean that there's deal. a so, there's going to be a social factor as far as like people having sex with a robot. Right now, one out of five, basically close to one out of five, are saying they'd I think be the willing number's to have much higher. Sex. I think you might be right about that. Maybe people haven't really thought thought it through. Uh, but all that said, there there's going to be a percentage of the population, and I don't know what the percentage is. Maybe it'll be you know organized Christians or something like that. Or there's going to be some back luddites, to, back to the earther types, right? The right. luddites, the people that you no know, no one's going to call themselves against, a luddite. Ian, a very against anti robotists, <laughs> roboticists. Uh, that these people are going to look down on people, even though, like, to you, this is a really hot robot. Other people are going to look at it and say, oh, that's a robot. You're a pathetic excuse for a human being. So what? 855, 450, free. I'm not saying I take those people's sides, but there could be a fair amount of those people. My robot we'll can rip your arms off and beat you over the head with them. Here in moments, this is Free Talk Live. Would love to get your thoughts on this. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. And when you call 1-800-721-4255 today, you can have it tomorrow. Proactive Plus is the modern acne miracle that treats your skin beautifully. The plus means more. More precise, targeted medicine for faster, gentler acne prevention. And more skin-loving solutions so your complexion can look bright and beautiful. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-721-4255. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus. Guaranteed 100% risk-free. You won't see this limited-time offer on TV. It's a radio exclusive. 1-800-721-4255. 
coplock.org slash pivothead. To ensure that a record of the truth of police interactions exists and is accessible, we each need to fill. That's why we're happy to announce the Accountability Through Transparency video contest the winner of which will receive a pair of pivot head sunglasses. For more information and to submit your video entry, go to cutblock.org slash pivot head. One, document with a camera, a police employee exhibiting double standards or the standards we expect them to live up to. This can be done while on foot, during a vehicle stop, while submitting an open records request, etc. Two, upload your video to your YouTube channel. Three, fill out the form at cutblock.org slash pivot head by the deadline of midnight Eastern Standard Time, May 23rd, 2014. Four, the winner chosen by contest sponsors will be notified by email and the Pivot Head sunglasses will be shipped once a mailing address is received. Coplock.org slash Pivot Head. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves via this toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, Ian here. And Mark. And join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features there. If you like the program and you like what we're doing, then please become an amplifier. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. It's 5 bucks a month, and we take that and invest it into the show to get on more radio stations around the country to bring more internet listeners on board. We've been doing Google AdWords campaigns, a campaign on Google AdWords for the last two and a half months about. Yep. And maybe actually about three months at this point. And we've seen significant increases in podcast downloads. Now, correlation is not necessarily causation, but this is, I think, pretty good correlation. It's like 26 or 28%, did you say? 28% up from February. So we started in February... Uh, April was up 28% from February. March was up from February. I don't know what the percentage was. Not as much. But then uh, from February to April, up by 28%, up from 69 to 89,000 downloads. So that's a pretty darn good increase. Yeah, things are working. Uh, for that. New and I, people are being reached. And I would say AdWords is a factor in that. I'd sure. say that that's undeniable. So if you want to help us increase, uh, if you want to help Free Talk Live spread, Five bucks a month is what it takes. You get perks like access to the AMP-only call-in lines, the AMP-only podcast, the AMP-only Facebook group, which is still very popular. I'm glad to see people are liking and utilizing that. And uh, some more perks. Go to amp.freetalklive.com. Take a look. And again, that's amp.freetalklive.com. We are sharing with you a story about people and their willingness to have sex, or at least their admitted willingness to have sex with a robot. One out of android. five. Android, an android. Um, I don't know what the difference is. That's the same thing, isn't it? I don't know. Well, android anyway, means 17, it looks like a human. Seventeen percent. Good point. Seventeen percent of people said they are prepared to have sex with an android. Eleven percent saying they want a child, a robot child, similar to David in the movie AI. One of the. I don't know the movie AI, but um, I it's it'd be really nice to just shut that thing off and go to bed. I can tell you that. Uh, let's see. According to the Daily Beast, people's self-reliance may have equipped people to seek such far-fetched sexual independence from other humans. The participant of the study adds, quote, but this obliterates the excitement of the uncertainty of being with a living person. They were talking about how you would know 
what the robot was programmed for, how long it would take, etc. There'd be all these parameters that you would know as the person in charge of the robot. So they're saying that that would take away from the excitement of not knowing what was going to happen, the risk of it all going wrong, which is a big part of having sex with someone in the first place. I'm just glad I got into a relationship before sleeping with C-3PO became the norm. I, I love the... <laughs> I love the idea. Yeah, people, I'm sure, are getting together uh, with uh, other folks to have sex because everything could go wrong. Right. <laughs> However, 41% said they think the concept of sexual intimacy with a robot is creepy. See, that's what I'm telling you, Mark. There are going to be people out there who are going to look down on this. They think lots of things they do themselves are creepy, too. Uh, this is the thing. is It's only creepy when somebody else does it. This is the point that I'm trying to make here mm -hmm. is I think that this would quickly become a norm. Uh, the fact is, is that, uh, you know, why why wouldn't you want a mate that looks awesome, doesn't age, can, uh, you know, thinks you're funny, exciting, riveting, talks to you, you know, whatever it is mm -hmm. that you want. I mean, you know, what all the good things that you'd get from a relationship you could get from an android. And none of the bad stuff. Hey, look, no mental health issues. That till death do us part thing? Nope, you don't have to do that. You don't have to take care of somebody in a wheelchair. You make a persuasive argument, but nonetheless, the, the numbers here are what they are. And again, this is a, these are British folks, so maybe things would be different in, in other countries. I have no clue whether, it, but it seems to me that once, the, once this gets rolling, that likely people will see advantages to it. Also, it'd be interesting to see a, an age if you would breakdown have, as well. If you would have asked people 20 years ago if they how much time they would spend on the internet on Facebook, mm -hmm. trying to explain that to them, and uh, you know, I, I bet you that they would answer a lot less than what is true. For, uh, so again, 41% said it's creepy. An additional 14% said they don't think robots should be used in such a manner. <laughs> so mm -hmm. there are robot prudes out there. Oh, absolutely. You yeah. didn't think that was the case. Nearly one-fifth of pet owners said they would replace a cherished animal with a robot. Not necessarily that sex would be involved in the, that. This yeah, uh, think about, about the advantages here. Not going on the carpet. Mm -hmm. Not getting things chewed up. Um, not getting furniture scratched up. My mom has a chair in her house that she's just let the cats go after. Um, I mean, essentially turned into a giant scratching a post. Yeah, I, because I, they leave the rest of the furniture alone, but this chair they yeah. just decimated. It. Decimated, destroyed. Yes. Uh, you know, none of that. You can have a cat that doesn't scratch the furniture, hmm. a dog that doesn't chew your shoes. Well, obviously we're talking about in a time where that robot thing, whether it's another human or a pet, would have to really evoke human emotion, right? Because the reason why, I mean, while some people may be interested in sex for the act itself, others are interested in an emotional sexual intimacy Sure. in the same way that people are intimate with But it's with a their seeming emotional sexual intimacy, you know? What are you talking about? Well, c because it's your relation. <laughs> you don't know what your relationship is with that other person. It's true. They it's could hate you, I suppose. Whatever's going on in their head is going on in their head. What you want is the feeling you have in your head. Mm -hmm. And if you can have that feeling by being in a relationship with, you know, suddenly, I, I didn't realize I was in a relationship with a robot, but now I do. And, um, you know, not so bad. <laughs> Yeah, uh, still, if you want to comment on this, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The same thing with the animals. I mean, you know, when you're petting that dog and they're looking up at you and, you know, can the robot make that same connection with the human? And how far are we? I mean, maybe they can eventually, but uh, how long is it going to take? And then what will happen to real dogs and real cats? Will these things be monogamous? That's what I want to know. The robot. Uh, the robots. Sex robots? Yeah. I mean, you know, you don't want somebody coming in your house and using your sex robot, right? Presumably uh, not. No. <laughs> sex robot. Sex robot. Like, you know, you don't. Oh, yeah. Could you watch the house for the weekend and stay away from Dirk? Yeah, you know, <laughs> the pool cleaner. Right? You know, a, I mean, obviously, <laughs> people are not going to want that. But you know that there's going to be an aftermarket for sex robots. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I mean, people are going to sell them. So it, you have to have a sort of a reprogramming thing option, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody's got to be able to hack Zor the robot's brain and uh, make it not monogamous anymore. Well, yeah, that's just it. I mean, there's all kinds of possibilities here. Despite some survey respondents in uh, intimate attitude toward robots, or, yeah, ma uh, many polled expressed concerns. Almost one half, 46%, said they thought technology was proceeding too quickly and uprooting traditional life values. 
35% expressed fears of unmanned military drones. I share that one. And uh, 42% <laughs> expect teachers to repl be replaced by bots in future schools and classrooms. Certainly not if the unions have their way. Uh, teachers aren't going anywhere. I don't know why you'd, I mean, what, what would you use a physical teacher for? What's a physical teacher do? Well, I think the whole teachers in a classroom thing is outmoded anyway. I mean, that's totally unnecessary by all evidence, and it's a very old technology. Just moving to internet teaching could be a huge change. But yeah, I, don't, I, I agree with you, Mark. There's no reason why a robot couldn't replace a teacher. But the reason why the school system is the way it is, as awful as it is, is because it's resistant to change. And uh, certainly the, the teachers' unions are very resistant to change and I, uh, it's going to be a real long time before you see the first robot teacher in a government school. In a government school, but yeah. it doesn't mean that it's not, you know, maybe may, may not be a government school, right? So share your thoughts here at 855-450-FREE. I also, uh, I think the, the statistic's interesting that almost a half of people in the in British uh, world, Britain, said they thought uh, technology was proceeding too quickly and uprooting traditional life values. You hear these kind of complaints about young people always being on their phones, uh, people are constantly complaining about young people. Yeah. I mean, they complained about they complained about Dungeons and Dragons when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and a Highway to Hell. And uh, I mean, you know, and look, Dungeons the, and Dragons would have been distracting you from real life, right? Nothing more boring than some an older person complaining about a younger person. I mean, mm. for God's sakes, get some get some new shtick. You know what's you know what's old and boring? You complaining about young people. Yeah, but there is an argument to be made. I think that. Uh, technology is distracting us from connecting with real people, like when you've got people who supposedly know one another. It's one thing for people to be antisocial when they're on something like a subway train. That's fairly common. That's been with us for a while. It doesn't have that much to do with technology. But uh, if you're in the same room with other people that you purportedly know and everybody's on a phone, that definitely feels to me like something's lost. Right, like that. There's some sort of there's human, an open, human connection yeah, there. Yeah, there's an opportunity for somebody who's good at connecting to humans face to face to uh, step in and uh, you know make money, provide services, do you know pe make people's lives better. I, I, I you know. So what I, you're saying is the phone has stepped in to make people's lives better rather than having to have a conversation well, with somebody. Well, clearly their lives are better. They're on the phone. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Do you share any of these folks' concerns that technologies proceeding too quickly traditional life values are being uprooted would you have sex with a robot under what parameters would you feel comfortable about that or are you you know an anti you do you think robots shouldn't have sex that robots are too good for that 855 450 free more coming up there's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, May 12th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.47 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,296 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $439. The BBC reports self-rule referendums have been held in Ukraine's easternmost areas, with separatists claiming nearly 90% voted in favor in Donetsk region. BBC reporters at polling stations in Donetsk and Luhansk spoke of chaotic scenes, no voting booths in places, and no electoral register. At least one person is reported to have been killed by armed men loyal to Ukraine's government. Ukraine called the vote a criminal farce organized by Russia. Western countries have also condemned the vote. Separatist leaders ignored a call by Russian President Vladimir Putin to delay the vote. The head of the Donetsk People's Republic Election Commission told journalists that 89% voted in favor of self-rule, with 10% against, and a turnout of nearly 75%. A Donetsk separatist leader, Denis Pushilin, told one Russian news agency that once the results are announced, all the Ukrainian military troops in the region would be considered an occupying force. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. Fox News reports Democrats are thinking about using internet balloting in 2016 to expand their voter base and select their presidential candidate, prompting Republicans to consider such a strategy to keep from losing ground. Iowa Democrats proposed the idea and several others during a recent DNC meeting, saying internet balloting could expand access to their unique caucus process to overseas military personnel, absentee voters, and others. They have already conducted some interviews and are now embarking on a listening tour to get input from party activists, caucus experts, and others, according to Iowa Democratic Party spokeswoman Christina Freundlich. She told Fox News, We're looking at different options. Democrats are always looking at ways to get more people in 2016 to participate in the democratic process. The idea of online voting is nothing new, but Iowa Democrats considering the idea with DNC support has reignited debate on the issue. Hans von Spakowski of the Heritage Foundation thinks computer-based voting will never happen, or at least not in the foreseeable future, and says, I think it's a very bad idea. Von Spakowski made his case Friday in large part by citing examples of online voting gone wrong, including a 2010 test run in the District of Columbia. The city's Board of Elections and Ethics suspended its new internet-based voting system just days into the test run after observing reportedly heard the University of Michigan fight song when trying to cast a vote. It was the work of a Michigan professor who was assisting in the project and who challenged his students to hack into the system. You've heard of ShinyBadges.com, but you need to check out the New Causes tab. Every item in that section includes a donation to a worthy Liberty project like Hoodie the Homeless. So go to ShinyBadges.com, click on the New Causes tab, and get yourself a quality product that not only supports the cause you believe in, but starts a conversation with your neighbors. Plus, get a free gift when you pay with Bitcoin at ShinyBadges.com. USA Today reports, after 32 months, the Washington Monument is finally set to reopen after it suffered widespread damage in an August 2011 earthquake along the East Coast. Public tours of the Washington Monument will begin today at 1 p.m. Philanthropist David Rubenstein matched the $7.5 million in public funds allocated by Congress for the monument's restoration. In March, National Park Service Director Jonathan B. Jarvis said in a written statement, We are grateful for David Rubenstein's generous donation that funded half of the $15 million repair bill. Rubenstein told the Associated Press that he was surprised how much the monument means to 
of people who have written him letters and emails. He said he's also pleased that the job was done on time and on budget. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Federal authorities are currently on high alert in Washington, D.C., following reports that hundreds of crazed sociopaths infiltrated the congressional chambers this morning. Mary Canley, a Capitol employee who managed to escape the House chambers, described the troubling scene to reporters. I saw all of them, about four to 500 completely deranged people, just rambling on about guns, the, the military, and money. Investigators say the lunatics, many of whom are believed to suffer from severe personality disorders, have locked themselves in the chambers for hours now, with no clear purpose or reasoning. I looked at one of them right in the eyes, and it was like he was empty on the inside, devoid of any emotion or feeling. It was horrifying. It's only a matter of time before they do something that really hurts someone. We believe these men to be manipulative and extremely dangerous. Luckily, they are also very disorganized, and there is a chance they may never be able to ever take any action at all. For more on this developing story, keep checking TheOnion.com. This is The Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and we're launching into the second hour of the program. You, of course, can bring up anything that you want toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You know, since we're talking about opinions, we're talking about robots and sex, as well as some other robotic-related opinion poll results here, but also, Mark, I know you had a couple of opinion polls that you wanted to share with us, people's opinions about political parties and maybe even marijuana legalization in Colorado. So I have one of those ready when we uh, get to that. But more on the robot sex. One out of five, almost one out of five, Amer- uh, not sorry, not Americans, actually, uh, Britons, say they would have sex with an android. We're not sure how many Americans would say the same thing. But others are concerned. 41% say they think the concept of sexual intimacy with a robot is creepy. And another 14% said they don't think robots should be used in such a manner. So as of right now, it looks like there's a majority of Amer- of uh, Britons who are saying that they're not so sure about this whole sex with a robot thing. This sounds weird to them and maybe even wrong to them. One half, almost one half, 46% said they thought technology was proceeding too quickly and uprooting traditional life values. And you were defending this a moment ago, Mark. You were saying that people having a phone, if they're in a room with what are purported to be their friends and everybody's on their phone, you're saying that means the phone is making people's lives better and so therefore it's totally fine that human connections have disintegrated. In uh, that, whoa, whoa, whoa. In Who way. said human connections have disintegrated? This is just some conclusion that people that don't like that their kids are on their phone um, don't like that they can't control the fact that they've given a phone to a kid and then the kid stays on the phone. I mean, I I think that's all this is about. I mean, I've been in a place with people my age who were on phones and, you know, I I like to make a joke about it like, oh, phone party. Well, because it's kind of funny because people know that they're disconnecting from other people, even though they're connecting online with somebody else. It's not really the same, is it? I don't think it's the same. No, yeah. I don't. I think that it's a different interactivity. The you know here first rule of uh, keeping a party going is don't be boring. Um, and you know yeah. that here's here's an indication that you might be being boring. Somebody's uh, you know drifting off and looking at their phone. But when I was a kid, I had my my Walkman, mm-hmm. um, you know, on my ears, and I wasn't tuned into what the adults were doing. Didn't want to. Didn't want to be in their world. So you know, I, I, I'm just. Nonplussed, I guess. Thirty-five percent said they're afraid of unmanned military drones. Forty-two percent say teachers will be robots soon. The professor at the University of Middlesex who oversaw the study, Martin Smith, told the Guardian, "Quote: While many of us worry about the role of technology and machines in modern society, robots are increasingly being developed for important roles that will help protect and improve our lives." As with the android policeman in a new TV series, Almost Human, it is true that robots are being increasingly used for tasks that put human lives at risk. A computer-controlled machine can be programmed to approach a terrorist in a suicide vest or clear a building overtaken by gunmen. So uh, the expert told The Guardian nearly one-third of those surveyed also expressed concerns that robots will be taking over key jobs once occupied by human beings. This always tickles me. (laughs) You know, we... (laughs) 
<laughs> Let's not have electricity because the candlestick makers might lose their jobs. We mm. can't have cars. What will the farriers do? Oh, please. This is the this is the oldest and most boring of the uh, of, of the complaints when it comes to to technology. Um, sorry, I've got no use for that one. Oh, computers might take some of our jobs. Thank God. Maybe you can get one that's not so darn boring. Then it's certainly something that has faced people in various uh, manufacturing positions and other jobs over the years. Is automation? Automation comes in, humans go out. And automation makes things cheaper. What do you work for? Money. Yep. Now you'll be able to buy more of the things you want with less money. This is one of the things that kind of gets missed in the income gap argument that's out there. You know, they say the rich are getting richer and the poor are staying stagnant. Well, one thing you got to look at is, is that you can buy more with less than these days. So the poor are wealthier now than they would have been 100 years ago, far more so. Well, absolutely. If you uh, look at how long a person works for a, a whole chicken in 1914 versus how long a person works for a whole chicken today, um, it's significantly lower. That's interesting. Uh, you And then you factor in things like processed foods that make uh, food more efficient. I'm not saying I eat processed food. I'm just saying you can live on it. Um, yep. I, I mean, you can go to McDonald's and get a couple of... Uh, you have a meal for two dollars, uh, you know, on the off the ninety nine cent meal. Drink water, get to whatever sandwiches off the ninety nine cent thing, and you're you know you're full for a meal. You know, it's funny. There is uh, sort of this seeming contradiction here, where on one hand there's a certain group of people out there who would love to have this robot run society, right? Where we've heard about the Venus Project, folks, mm -hmm. where there's this centrally controlled system people live in these concentric circles designed cities there's this vision for all these robots doing all the manual almost all the manual labor tasks and and then all the humans have to do is sit around and eat bonbons all day or whatever make artwork and play in the pool or whatever it is that people would do as their leisure time and that's all there would be would be leisure time but yet on the other hand when robots come in to automate jobs which would be the process right like that if you want to get you have to do it right <laughs> if you want to get to that society where all you have to do is just goof off all day then at certain points robots are going to have to take over more and more jobs for people to do so how are you going to get to that society if you don't want if you keep protesting every time robots come about that can take people's jobs who cares what people protest about it doesn't matter that not one of these protests have ever mattered it's true uh, when you st when you take a look at the Lud <laughs> from the luddites the original term um in great you know, in England, they went around breaking. They they didn't like the fact the cottage industry was moving into the assembly line and in, uh, the industrial age. They went around breaking um, factory machines and stuff like that. Uh, you know, b destroying people's property. And people have been. I remember when I was a kid, the Japanese are going to take our jobs. And then the complaint was, oh, but it's not going to the Japanese. It's the robots are building and robots are building cars. There's no doubt about it. Thank goodness, mm -hmm. there's more precision now. That's the right. American car industry has Safer. come back. Um, and that's a that's a wonderful thing. I, I just all this to do about uh, nothing. I, I, when when you look at the grocery store, people will say, oh, you can't go use those checkouts because you're driving uh, those automated checkouts because you're driving the cashiers out of a job. You know, I go up to the cashier. You get this glazed eyed teenager looking at uh, did you find everything you're looking for. I, I guess. OK, plastic or paper? You know, like I, I am dealing with a robot. Like, you know, I'm, That's mean. I, I'm That's getting, not a nice thing to say. All right, Sometimes I'm getting somebody who's automated. Very nice. What's that? Sometimes the cashiers are very nice. I'm getting someone who's automated in their activity. How's and that? And there's something to be said for having a nice cashier. However, I will go where the line is the shortest. And usually that's at the robot counters. I never get to go to the robot counters because uh, my, my wife... Most of the things she sends me to the store for produce, and you got to weigh that stuff. It's too much work for you. No, no, I don't know that. It, I don't know that you can. I don't know how to use it. You've I, never been. Whoa, 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 you've never been through the robot counter because you were worried about weighing the produce. I didn't think that. I, they have to punch things in. Yes. Okay. So, Mark, let me let me school you <laughs> on uh, how how these robot checkouts work. At least at the places I've been to, uh, they have the weighing device there on each of these machines, and there's a little bit of work involved. I mean, when you're doing that, you are being the cashier, and you are uh, being you know, the bagger, essentially. So they've got you doing the work. Um, anyway, when you're doing that, uh, you have to read the PLR or PLU code or something, I think it is, PLU. Blue. 
Uh, and each most of the fruits and veggies will have the code on them on a sticker. Those that don't, they've got a little rotating thing that you can look at and look up the code for, you know, plum tomatoes. And then you punch in that code. It says, all right, well, weigh this thing. And you put it on there, and it gets the weight, and then it calculates it, and, and that's it. So it's... It's fairly efficient. What about my box of wine that I get now and then? Well, that's why they have the clerk who uh, sort of oversees. Yeah, but I'm going at 1030 at night on, when I leave the show, so there's no clerk. Well, if the that's clerk, true, then The clerk make... that oversees is the person that's at the line. Well, if that's true, they probably shut down the robot uh, No, files. they're there. They got the lights on. Hmm. Okay. Well, there you go. That's all I know about it. Right. I, uh, I I like the you robot. Have, you have taught me something. Thank you. I, I like the robot checkout things because, like I said, usually... They're easier to get through as far as there's not as many people there. But on the other hand, I do understand the idea of that, you know, there's that human being and it's it's nice to have human connections, even if it's just quickly in a, uh, a store for five minutes or whatever. 855, 450 free. But how do you feel? You're welcome to share your thoughts with us about the future because robots certainly seem to be the future. Like that's not really going on all in there. They're going to change a whole lot about our lives Uh, as technology tends to do. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Following this afternoon's arrest of Congress on the charge of over 23 million counts of manslaughter, our reporter spoke to Mark Westnick from Savannah, Georgia, just one of the many Americans that has lost a loved one due to the legislative branch's criminal negligence. Because of Congress, my 23-year-old son died two years ago in Afghanistan. My nephew, he lost his leg in Iraq in 2006, and my brother died in Vietnam in 1969. Congress killed my family. Defense attorneys for the now incarcerated 538 member group have dismissed the claims made by Westnick and other victims and released a statement saying their client has been, quote, a pillar of the national community for over 200 years and completely innocent of any and all wrongdoing. Keep checking theonion.com for more as this story develops. This is the Onion News Network. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. 
It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want here. Just dial toll-free to 855-453. That's 855-450-3733, especially if you have any opinions on robots and technology taking over our lives. Uh, is it a problem that people are spending a bunch of time on their cell phones these days rather than actually talking in reality to other human beings? Or is that just a okay and it's fine you know it doesn't bother you at all certainly doesn't seem to bother a lot of people and it really obviously i spent a lot of time on technological devices as well i'm as guilty of it probably as uh, as anybody else but i still do share the concern that maybe it is you know maybe technology is kind of a, a detriment to real human connection and that could be a problem but you're welcome to share your thoughts 855 450 free on the other hand technology in a lot of ways brings us together uh, for things that otherwise we wouldn't have been able to do. So here in New Hampshire, uh, we're here, as for instance, as part of the Free State Project, which was an internet-based movement of people coming together in physical reality. Mm. So in that case, technology made people being physically close a possibility. It, it created a community that never likely would have existed had it not been for the internet. So it's certainly a double-edged sword, you know, of course, because even within that community of people who've now physically come together, there are still people who will sit in a room and, a room and sit on phones. So you know, it's happening on both, both sides, I guess. And another thing that technology can do is it can improve your life financially. Uh, Bitcoin, for instance, if you're a business owner and you have a physical business location, you've been thinking about integrating Bitcoin into your business, accepting people, your customers who want to pay with Bitcoin, or maybe new customers who will be your customers if you accept Bitcoin. You've got to have the tools to do this, though. You have to have merchant software to make it easy, because you don't want to just, you don't want to have your employees having access to your Bitcoin wallet. You don't want them to be able to send money from your Bitcoin wallet. No. You want them to be able to receive into your Bitcoin wallet. That's fine. So you need a special software that can do that. Blockchain.info has just come out with that software. You can go to blockchain.com, actually. Blockchain.info is their kind of their regular average person website. Blockchain.com is their business owner website. That's where you go if you want to get the merchant app that blockchain.com has put out. And then, you know, put it on your cell phone or put it on an Android-based uh, larger device like a tablet. Maybe mount that tablet up at the point of sale, and then you can make it easy for your customers to pay with Bitcoin with their app. And there is, by the way, no terms of service, no identification requirements to get no started. Cost. You just jump right in. Right. There's no fees to accept the Bitcoin. Uh, so blockchain.com is where you can go to grab that software. Let's go to Carson. He's in Columbus, and you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hey, Carson. Hey, um, I just wanted to uh, take issue with one of Mark's comments from the last segment. Your comment about food being cheaper, well, I do agree with you that if you look 100 years ago, if you look over the last past 20 years, that's just simply not true. The minimum wage, the average minimum wage, has not kept up with the cost of inflation uh, and the rising food prices. Not, not even to talk about the price of gas. In Ohio, the minimum wage is seven ninety five, and it's been that since at least I moved out of state briefly in two thousand and eight. So, part of what the protest about the income gap is the fact that food is more expensive, and cost of living has gone up, and wages haven't gone up. So, um, you know, when, when we're looking at minimum wage, you're often not looking at a head of household. You're not looking at somebody who's running their household. You're looking at somebody who's getting into the workplace, um, somebody who's, you know, snuck across the border. and I, doesn't. I have to disagree with you. 
I can think of at least 10 people. That's that I anecdotal. Know the there are fewer than 10. Head. I'm sorry. That's anecdotal. There's fewer than 10% of people that are, um, you know, that, that get minimum wage are heads of household. And I won and I wonder about those households. I'm really kind of interested. What are those households like? Cause I can't imagine anybody can run a household on minimum wage. I don't know. I don't know how you um, do it. I'll just put it there without getting into specifics. One of my friends has, uh, her and her husband work two to between the two, they work three and a half jobs because she takes in uh, clothing and stuff to, to tailor. And they're on a lot of uh, assistance programs, and they go to a lot of food banks, and it's they're one paycheck away from, you know, having a crisis situation. So is every and American. Well, I do agree that, if you, yeah, if you look at the 100 years ago, yes, the price of, you had to work longer to eat a whole chicken, but... Just, I think Carson's I making a good point that, here. You know, well, you, you know when you look at kind uh, of with people's concerns over the wage gap. Well, the, with the wage gap, the, the wage gap is this difficult thing because the fact is, is your money does buy more. Twenty years ago, when I was in high school, um, I use this example all the time. A bottle of uh, alcohol was one dollar. Was ninety nine cents at the drugstore. Like rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol was uh, ninety nine cents at the drugstore. Now you can get it for less than like twenty five cents at uh, at Walmart. Well, there's no doubt that some things have gotten cheaper, but I mean, wouldn't you agree that Carson's That's a consumer based right? item? And- wouldn't you agree though that Carson's right that a lot of food has gone up pretty significantly in the just the last decade. I mean, the alone, consumer, years. The consumer price right. index is a mess. The, go ahead. You go know, ahead. like what is a, a better example? A pound of hamburger, because I buy a lot of hamburger, and I know the price like the back of my hand. When I was 18 years old, and I first started shopping on my own. Hamburger was two nine was about between 250 and 279 a pound. Now I'm lucky if I can get it for 375 a pound on sale. Usually I don't know how long ago about, when you were 18 was. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm 28. Years, I was 18 in 2000, 10 years ago. 2003. 10, My in, apologies. In 10 years. Um, and, you know. Price I, of bread's up? No doubt. The food, food's price going up. Yeah. There's no, no doubt about it. Milk. Ice cream, yogurt. So I'm just saying. How many people are staying at minimum wage? I don't know. Them. I mean, every time they move, move the minimum saying, wage, they kind of mess things up. Carson, final well, thoughts. I'm Go ahead. I'm just saying. That's time you kind of poo-poo people who are talking about the income gap and the 99%. They're not going to get the rich people's that, money, though, Carson. I mean, that's the point I, here. I, I'm not saying they're going to be successful. I'm just saying you made it sound like they have no legitimate complaint. And I was just pointing out that they do have a legitimate complaint. I think complaint. Carson's right about they're, that. They're, they're going it. down the wrong rabbit hole, though. They're, they're, it's more fetishistic race, uh, rich people hating. And the problem is the Federal Reserve yeah, devaluing the currency. Yes. I have no problem with rich people. I'm not claiming that you do. I'm claiming that people people. that make a big deal about the wage gap often are the same people that have the the fetishistic rich people uh, hating thing. The fact is that some people are rich because they've stolen their money. They've, uh, you know, they've used the the machinations of government to get where they were. Mm -hmm. Other people have provided goods and services to people to become wealthy. I don't think we should rob those people of their money, but that's what those people people that are worried. Carson, let me finish my thought. We're either born into it or they've swindled their money using the government to enforce monopolies. That's no, not I'm true about all rich people. That's right, Carson. Honest. Those rich people and their income gap, they got all that money from their parents. <laughs> they've, they've, they've gotten it colluded with politicians. You know, There's not a single rich person out there that's absolutely provided goods and that, services you know, for people. Thanks, Carson, for the sort of conversation. Appreciate it. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. There are that's people what I'm out talking there. About. Right, yeah, I, I totally understand that. There are plenty of people out there who've made money by making people happy. You've been lied to. Lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my Inc. Magazine best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire, because Wall Street's 401k and other investment plans have failed millions of Americans. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash several years ago, I said enough. 
Since then, I've discovered an IRS-approved way to safely grow my money up to 12 to even 17%, cut taxes dramatically, but also have my money protected when the next crash comes. Call now to talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to potentially build a million-dollar tax-free retirement income, get potential 12 to 17% returns, and never lose when the next crash hits. Call 888-885-8820 and discover this tool that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney used to safely grow rich. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling. Call 888-885-8820. 888-885-8820. Again, that's 888-885-8820. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at Twitter.LRN.FM. That's Twitter.LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. Take your calls about what you want. Just dial toll-free to 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got a mobile site. For those of you with a smartphone, you can go to M, like mobile, dot freetalklive.com. And when you go there, you'll see there are links to uh, different ways to get tuned in because you know everybody's got a different kind of phone and there's different apps to listen to. Tune in has to be the single easiest way to listen to Free Talk Live on your mobile device. There are alternatives. We can go over some of those at m.freetalklive.com. But I, I think TuneIn Tune is a great app. And they actually just redesigned their website to make it more social media friendly. So you know how we've been talking about how we'd love to have you share with your friends on like Facebook or Twitter uh, when you're listening to Free Talk Live? Well, you can do that pretty easily with TuneIn's website now. 
Uh, you can sort of share out TuneIn. You can follow on TuneIn, and uh, they've I think they've made some good improvements to the site. It was good before. But it's uh, it's I think it's better now. I've heard that you could uh, see how many people are downloading uh, particular shows. Can an individual see that and see like look, how no. many? No, I think you can see the total number of followers though. Of the, okay. Yeah, I'm sure you can see that because I was looking at it the other day. Anybody who's who's on TuneIn can see how many followers each show has. So that's kind of cool. So tune in, people. Follow Free Talk Live. Yes, please. Thank you for that. Uh, so again, tune in. Great app available for uh, pretty much every phone operating system: Windows Phone, Palm. Uh, you know, all the phones nobody has. Tune in's on all of those things, <laughs> and uh, of course, iPhone as well as uh, Android. So anyway, go to m like mobile dot free talk live dot com as we go to Howie or Howard listening in Pennsylvania on Skype. Hello, Howard. Hey, gentlemen. I, re- I just wanted to say I really like TuneIn, and also Stitcher is a great app. I use TuneIn when I listen live mostly. We're on Stitcher but as well. That's for uh, podcast listening. Stitcher is great for the next day to yep. catch the um, past episodes. But my comment was about the work situation. You know, there's a lot of jobs that, and especially since 2008, since the economy went bad, I've always struggled with earning. And, you know, despite that I work hard, I've just never been able to have some of the skills that other people do to, in entre, entrepreneurial and business things. I've always worked for other people, and I've struggled to get ahead, and I've often felt that I've been taken advantage of. And there's, like, jobs that all you want to do is get a guy that you can get or anybody to do the work for you, pay him the least you can pay him, they, you know, and that's it. You're not going to have – you're not looking at – it seems to me that these employers are looking for any kind of, like – long-term person that they're going to really take care of they're just trying to make as Put much profit there. and keep the the uh working costs down you know to not you know so they don't really care about the person they have working and a lot of times the guy doing that job is is doing like the hardest job that nobody wants to do yep and they pay him less like i worked in the restaurant industry a line cook makes far less than like a front of the house employee like a waiter or a waitress and I would always get frustrated because I could see that they would make money in tips and they were they were making far more money than the guys that were sitting in the back and in the hot kitchen slaving. And, you know, it all works out because that's the, the skill level and dealing with the customers and inter- interactions. But I my real question was, like, how much do you really think in nowadays, do you think the least amount a person can expect to earn and have a and have a? a happy life and be productive. Like I would say now it's like 45 or $50,000. I mean, would you agree with that? Yes. Well, the problem is, is that um, the United States is of all the countries in the world has the largest amount of single person households. So I think that this is a um, an anomaly in in the world. I really don't believe that that's what how humans are supposed to live. I don't think they're supposed to have their own domicile and be away from other people. I think uh, what I, I read some statistics uh, recently that said that in like uh, the turn of the century, 1900s, that the average uh, household was something like four and a half people in a household. So you and had what is it now? That's a good two point. and a half okay. people in a household. I mean, other cultures, you know, I mean, they'll have like 14 people living in a household all right. working together. So that's a great point. I, You've you got, know, I understand that. In which got, case, money will go further because you're combining costs. And well, two, okay. Two can live co- more cheaply than one, okay. and three can live more cheaply than two, and yep. four can live more cheaply than okay. three. Let me rephrase that as a family, a man and a woman, or a couple, or anybody who's trying to start a life and be, you know, because that's it's easier when there's two people trying to live than just one. So, Honestly, like even in Florida where the cost of living is lower, like I would say it can't be less than 35 or 40. This is what I, 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 this is going to sound like a cop out, but uh, this is how I really believe. I think that whether you're happy or not depends on you, not the amount of money that you're making. But you and, have to have a certain amount uh, of money. I mean, yeah, you do have to have a certain amount of money. It's at least in our culture you do. But you take a look at hey, Howard. Hang on a sec. You take a look at the uh, the Peace Pilgrim, for instance. I mean, this is a woman who gave away all of her worldly possessions. She had a tunic and like a toothbrush and whatever, a couple things that she would put in her pocket. She had some pamphlets that Not she much. would hand out. She didn't have much of anything. And well, th- th- cool. that she traveled across the country multiple times over her over like 50 years. 
and was able to do this relying simply on the kindness and generosity of others. She didn't know where she was going to eat. She didn't have any money to buy any food. She it was is just really. she Sorry. would just she would just accept graciously whatever it was that was given to her, whether it was something to eat, whether it was a place to lay her head at night. That's how she would get through her life and she was very happy. This lady. Make, that's so cool and you make me realize like I'm so thinking about what society tries to tell us what we need and all that. But of course, like I want to have food and shelter and to not live outside. Yeah, and well, she did live outside through some pretty tough times. I mean, that, that much is true. She uh, she did not have a the most comfortable life. But on the other hand, it worked out pretty well for her, all things considered. Surprisingly, I read the same book, and it's you know surprising how she's just sort of able to do it for decades. She decade trusted, on decade. you know, she trusted that it would work out, and it did. Howie, I, I, I think it would be very difficult for a man and a woman, and you know, to have a child and live in a domicile with on less than thirty five thousand a year. I think it would Thanks. be it would be yeah. difficult to do that. Thanks, Howard. I, Appreciate your call yeah. tonight. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty three. Let's go to Ben. He's in Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hey, Ben. Hey, how are you guys? Welcome, sir. Well, um, you know, I'm really um, kind of new. Uh, you know, I've been kind of watching everything that you guys have been doing up in New Hampshire. And to be honest with you, I'm really inspired right now. And, cool. um, you know, there's there's been a lot. You know, I've been really following this stuff, you know, three or four years. And what kind of got me into it was I was originally um, I was originally put into uh, this, I think, just thinking outside the box by, uh, I was being recruited by the OTA, or the Order Templi Otis, or are you guys familiar with The what? Them? The Order Templiotis. Order Templiotis. Can you spell that, yes, please? Sir. Um, I would I would need to uh, Google it to make sure I spelled that right. <laughs> Can you give us a <laughs> shot? You. you know, shot in the dark. Yeah, uh, uh, educated guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, give me just a second here. Uh, I know Alistair Crowley created it. Uh, it's kind of Madame Blavatsky. Wasn't Alistair Crowley uh, one of the Illuminati or something like that? Well, you know, I, I really don't know. There's, I've heard a lot of different you know, yeses and noes compared to that, so it's hard to tell. But, so uh, what is it? So here know, it is. It's I, I the Ordo Templi Orin, Orintius um, is, uh, right, is yeah, how it's pronounced, yeah. O-T-O. So what is it besides uh, what its um, name is? Well, you know, it's um, it's basically, uh, you know, it kind of comes from Freemasonry a bit, little bit. Um, I did a lot of uh, pre-reading. And, uh, you know, thanks to the Internet, I was actually able to figure out a lot of the, the later books, <laughs> you know, books that you would you, you would normally take you a few years of, of reading before you could get to those books. Mm -hmm. So I kind of skipped ahead, and it, it kind of made me back out of the whole organization. But, you know, that's kind of what opened me up to the whole liberty idea, you know, that, you know, I started to realize through that, like, how much control really was over the people. And um, so I'm really excited now, you know, like, because... I was really starting to get, you know, the Ron Paul movement really got me excited. All right, I want to talk and to you was, further about this. Hang on, Ben, and still am curious about this uh, Masonic Ordo, Ordo Templi, Templi Orientis. That thing. Orientis. 855 450 free. We'll find out more about it, and maybe you want to share your thoughts. You're welcome to do so here on Free Talk Live, 855 450 free. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. I'm a very bad man, and I'm outside your house. 
I see you've got an alarm. Outstanding. Cause houses with alarms always have the coolest stuff. Unless you've got a door devil reinforcing your door frame. I'll kick your fancy door just like any other door. And I'll be gone before the police even get the call. Don't worry, I'll try not to make a mess. <laughs> Door Devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths or visit DoorDevil.com. We love that you're passionate about GCN. And whether you're a listener, a business owner, or a radio industry professional, we've redesigned the new GCN newsletter to keep you in the know. Text GCN Live to 22828 or click on the banner at GCNlive.com. Enter by May 15th. You'll qualify to win a six-month supply of storable food from MyPatriotSupply.com. Start receiving your newsletter today. The future of talk radio. GCN. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cush jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. free talk live take control of the airwaves toll free at 855 450 free that's 855-450-3733 and you can skype into the show our skype username is lrn.fm join us online of course at freetalklive.com so bitcoins are all over the news but a lot of people don't know where to get them well i'm going to tell you how you go to cash there's instructions there right on the website that make it clear for you. It's easy, safe, fast, completely legal. They're a licensed MSB, a money, licensed money transmitter. What What is MSB? Money services business? Something like that. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's completely legal. It's inexpensive. Customer service is their top priority. I've done a great deal of business with cashandacoins.com. Mm-hmm. You can trust them. You use either a money order or a check or wire transfer to uh, send them money, and then they send your Bitcoins. The rates are great. You can donate some of your fee to charity, and as always, orders under $40 carry no fee. So you can get into Bitcoin. You can start out by getting, I don't know, a millibit or two, and you can do it with no fee. Cashintocoins.com. Okay, so uh, we're going back to the phones here. Ben is in Virginia, and he started out his call saying he was looking into becoming part of the what is called the Ordo Templi Orientis which I had not really heard of before, but I guess maybe I had come across it because I have looked at a couple of things about 
the Masons, which is apparently this is a Masonic related organization, um, maybe even connected with the Illuminati. But uh, what, what got you interested in this, Ben? Because it would seem like this is one of those things where, you know, you don't approach them, they approach you. But I don't really know. I mean, what do you how did you learn about this and what do you know about it? Uh, to be honest with you, um, it was through Xbox, and uh, I was what? playing with some friends. So, yeah, I know it's kind of crazy, but you know, I had a, I had a group of friends that I uh, played Call of Duty with on a, on a quite regular basis, and and I got to know several of these guys over a multiple year process, and and I think I just uh, through normal conversation and and the things that I care about and the things that I'm compassionate about uh, just attracted me to them. You know, uh, one of my friends was a uh, was a pretty high level individual within the group. And uh, they've actually uh, branched out, and they've created their own group now, so they're no longer a part of the OTO. But, um, you know, um, I don't want to really speculate too much into what they're into because I really don't know. Um, you know, I, I never got far enough into the OTO to be able to speak about them, you know, to be able to— uh, So just to, just to be clear, you're playing video games with a group of, of people. They informed you about them being part of the Ordo Templi Orientis and it what invited you? I mean, how did you you know begin the process? Because it sounded like you did some level of looking into it and then decided not to. Absolutely, you know, it's a, it's a few year process. You know, they give you a few books to read, you know, to uh, just to kind of break you in to, to the, the esoteric and you know and about just you know thinking outside the box. And you know, if I would suggest anything for anybody that's interested in anything like that, would be a book called The Fourth Way. Uh, it absolutely changed my life. Uh, it was really amazing stuff. Uh, it was written by an author named Ospinski. Uh, really, really neat stuff. It's just really about perspective and 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 viewing things from a, from a new way. Okay. So you looked into this, but for some reason you decided you didn't want to to move forward with this. You said you discovered some things in other books that you weren't supposed to read yet. What's that all about? Well, you know, I kind of, you know, I doubled in. You know, I did research. There's quite a stuff out, you know, quite a few stuff out there on Google, you know, as far as the OTO is concerned, and not as much as I wanted, but there was some information out there, um, and uh, so that really made me to question my friends, you know, uh, as far as like the ultimate goal and the end goal of the organization, you know, things like that. And, but what and, are you? Go, you're beating the around the bush a little bit. What are, What are you getting at? Are these guys Satanists? Uh, what's the deal? I really don't know. I really don't know, but it, it I was questionable enough about it to where I decided to leave it alone. Hmm. But what so I now you found the Free State was, Project. That's creepy, man. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah, what were you? So yeah, the Free State Project. <laughs> but, you're excited about that. I can tell you. I am. You know, not uh, much Satanism going uh, on in the Free State Project. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something, you know, that real people are doing now. I'm not looking for 20 years down the road. I'm looking for a change today. What is exciting to you about the Free State Project? Oh, everything, man. You guys are up there. You guys are the front line of freedom today, man. You know, what, what's going on in New Hampshire from the research I've been able to do, it's, it's amazing stuff. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about Cop Lock. I'm really excited about Free Team. You know, um, uh, one thing I, want, I would like to see a little bit uh, come out of that would be some more vets' rights stuff. I'm a veteran, so, you know, I have sure. a lot of care about that. You know, yeah, but, um, I think that's you know, great, and we do have a number of veterans in the Free State Project, and it's always, I think it's always powerful. Uh, it shouldn't be, but it is when a veteran speaks against the state, because these are people who are, from the perspective of a statist, from the perspective of somebody who loves the state, they're, it's harder for them to assail a veteran. They've got that card, that veteran card that they can play, and it makes it much more difficult to impugn that person's personality. Oh, it was many years after I got out of the military before I started to wake up. I was definitely a part of the product. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, <laughs> but, you, you know, should come uh, up for the Porcupine Freedom Festival. I think you'd have a real good time. Are you aware of that? I am. I, I was really hoping to be able to work it out, but I just got hit with some really bad car uh, car issues, so I'm, I'm kind of stuck. But I think I'm going to be up there in probably August or September to visit. Well, anytime you can come up to New Hampshire is a good time because there's always something happening. There's always a group of people getting together for some social or activist purpose that you can tag along with in uh, in most of the cities, at least. Certainly in you know Manchester, Keene, Nashua, that's, those kind of places. So anytime you can come up to visit, it's always a good idea. You always want to let people know as well at like the Free State Project Forum, for instance, or the Shire Society Forum. Those are forum.freestateproject.com org and forum.shiresociety.com. That's a good place to find folks. There's some Facebook groups as well where you can connect with people. But even if you don't, you know, even if you don't have a car, 
Uh, it's still possible to get to the Porcupine Freedom Festival, depending. So, for instance, on the Free State Project Forum, and there's also a Pork Fest group on Facebook. Uh, that's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T. There are these groups where you can go and you can post, well, I'm here in Virginia. Is there anybody driving up? Can I get a ride? And you'd actually be surprised. There are a number of people who, you know, they haven't ever met you before, but they're willing to give you a ride somewhere to, you know, this Porcupine Freedom Festival. So if you want it to work awesome. out, it may actually work out for you if you just kind of put it out there. It's a possibility for okay, you. Okay, I'll see, I'll see what I can do because I really want to be there. Um, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm really excited about the whole movement. I, I'm from a town that's really uh, – We've got our own festival, Floyd Fest. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. It's a big music festival here in Virginia. Is that the one where they try but, um, to bust people trying to leave there, the cops? Yeah, it, yeah, it has been kind of bad the last few years as far as that goes. There has been some of that going on. But the actual festival itself, if, if, if the state would just stay out of it, would be pretty awesome. It sure would. Hey, Ben, thanks for your call tonight. We'll look forward to seeing you in New Hampshire when you get up here. And, you know, interesting, the uh, the Ordo Templi Orientis. What do you think about these esoteric groups mark they i mean these guys definitely exist i think isn't jason osborne a longtime supporter of free talk live like a 33rd degree mason the guy or something? who the studios uh, uh named after yeah he's the highest level um mason is what i've been told yeah um you know whatever what do you have to do to get that i i, I don't know it, you know it's it's the organization itself isn't secret it's just got secrets about it it's so. secretive secretive yeah i don't know I because I like I've done a little bit of of looking into it because they have the Mason building here in Keene, the old Masonic building, and I've walked around in their little temple or whatever it's called spot, and it's creepy, man. I mean that I remember going in there and there was like a skull in there with like a light inside it, and then when I came back in years it later, it wasn't actually a skull. No, right. it was gone. The whole thing was gone. They'd moved everything out of there, so I wasn't able to take any pictures of it, unfortunately, because <laughs> I had gone back in with the intention of seeing if that stuff was there and, and taking what pictures What do I think? It. I think it's a service organization of people that, uh, you know, want to have a club to do stuff. Yeah. And, you know, for people that want that, it's there. For people that want something less than that, there's the Lions Club. Mm. I, I'm just not... I'm so unmoved. These people do so much for their community and uh, people going after the Masons. I just don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I, I smell no smoke. <laughs> I smell no smoke. It, well, I, also, here's what I think they are. They're boring. That's what, about what I think the they are. What about the Illuminati though? I mean, so there's people who think the Illuminati are these uh, control freaks who are trying to take over the world. And then on the other hand, there's the argument that the Illuminati, you know, they're just enlightened. I mean, they're the ones who- The have, Illuminati are, doesn't exist any longer. Um, it uh, is an they have a Facebook page. Of whatever. Somebody put up a Facebook <laughs> page. Um, the, they got good posts on the Illuminati Facebook page. There's there some really people, good content. There are people trying to take over the world. You don't know who they are. Yeah. Here's this little surprise for you. You don't know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, you don't know what they want or what they're about. Uh, it, once you think you know what they're about, they've changed their plan. Mm. Um, uh, you know, some of the things that have been proffered out there as what the plans are of the uh, the global elite, um, whatever they might be, it sounds it, it, it doesn't sound accurate to me. You know, we haven't heard from in a while. Uh, the gentleman from New York, Frank. Frank in New York. He claimed he was in the Illuminati. 855 453 He's got the accent for it. He's got the Moonlight accent. 855 450 3733. We continue with Hour 3 of Free Talk Live. Coming up, we'll tell you about people's opinions about the political parties. And as you, well, you can probably guess it, but we'll give you some of the numbers and talk to you about whatever's on your mind on Free Talk Live. What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Well, that happened in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work. Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in this series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. 
Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, May 12, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,302, silver opened at $19.58, and Bitcoin is trading at $439. Support for Liberty Beat comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn how to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more at GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. And support comes from Bitmain Tech, creators of the newly released Antminer S2 Bitcoin Miner, one terahash and only 1,000 watts. Order yours online today at bitmaintech.com or call them up 844-BITMAIN. That's 844-248-6246. In the news, on Tuesday, May 5th, representatives from Fluoride Free San Marcos rallied at City Hall to ask the mayor and city council to approve a resolution to end water fluoridation in the city of San Marcos. John Bush, founder of the Liberty Beat, and Catherine Bleich of Sovereign Living spoke in favor of ending fluoridation. San Marcos Mayor Daniel Guerrero remained open to the topic and requested more information. High risk for water contamination and other environmental damage. That's what a government accountability office report reveals about thousands of oil and gas wells the government has failed to inspect. The Associated Press reports the findings highlight substantial gaps in oversight by the agency that manages oil and gas development on federal and Indian lands. Additionally, the agency's audit states the Bureau of Land Management failed to effectively coordinate with state regulators in New Mexico, North Dakota, Oklahoma, and Utah. The Waluna Martu First Nation of Western Australia is engaged in a fight against the possible expansion of a uranium mining project. Indigenous rights activists and anti-nuclear groups have accused Toro Energy of promoting junk science regarding the safety of the project. The group fears the mines are dangerous to human health and the environment. Waluna elder Glenn Cook called it the duty of those who care about the earth and people to resist the project. The mine is scheduled to be operational within the next year. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Mention promo code LIBERTY, and when you order 10 or more posters, you get 10 free. Online at affordablesound.com, or call them up, 512-459-5253. And support comes from Voice and Exit, maximizing human flourishing through radical innovation. Tickets on sale now. Get 10% off with promo code FREEDOM. June 21st at Austin Music Hall. Get yours at voiceandexit.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, May 12, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. $69 million is allocated by the Armed Services Committee for construction of a new secret prison at Guantanamo. The funding is placed in the Republican-led committee spending bill and will go towards construction of a new secretive prison intended to replace the clandestine Camp 7. The Miami Herald reports it's not yet a done deal, with the proposed legislation still having to undergo the congressional budgeting process while surviving scrutiny from an apparently unapproving White House. New York police continue to recruit Muslims as undercover informants. The New York Times reports the operatives are recruited from immigrant holding facilities, with the NYPD working to talk the would-be informants into spying on their own community. 
The program is revealed through documents obtained by the New York Times and comes on the heels of the announcement that the NYPD has discontinued the controversial zone assessment unit which spied on the Muslim community. According to the Times, 220 attempts to recruit Muslims for spying were made in the first quarter of this year alone. On Thursday, California inched one step closer to implementing a kill switch requirement for cell phones. The California State Senate passed the measure 26-8 after compromises were made, including removing tablets from the requirement and delaying the implementation date to July 2015. The Los Angeles Police Department and Senator Mark Lino support the bill as an effort to curb smartphone theft. The measure would also fine businesses up to $2,500 for selling phones without kill switches. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock Central Time at CoreyMooreShow.com. And support comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage, Inc., precious metals at reasonable rates since 1977, online at rrbi.co. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, May 12, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. A heroic broken sewage pipe floods Congress with waste. Johnson & Johnson introduces new leave-in Q-tips. This Thursday, local youth Andrew Robillard told reporters he had no idea why he couldn't wear his Iron Man costume to his grandfather's funeral. Robillard, whose grandfather passed away this week after complications from a stroke, vented his frustration to reporters and noted that his grandpa, quote, probably wouldn't even care if he dressed like Iron Man at the funeral. Iron Man is awesome. I want to wear my Iron Man suit. I am a Man. And in tech news, a news website refers to its users' ceaseless exchange of racial slurs as a discussion. In other news, Guinness World Records promotes the man who can lift 27 pounds with his tongue to editor-in-chief. Thursday's cry is moved up to Wednesday due to a scheduling conflict, and a family watches in silence as Dad checks out the waitress. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. We're launching into our number three. You can bring up anything you want. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Sex with Robots. The virginity auction lady backs out of her deal. Food prices. Secret societies. We've been all over the place here tonight on Free Talk Live. That's how I like it. You can call in and take control of the airwaves at 855-450-FREE. Plus, coming up, Mark will share with us Americans' opinions about political parties. The two big political parties. Are people satisfied? We'll learn more. 855-450-FREE. We go to Ty what do you think? <laughs> in Tennessee. Ty, you're on Free Talk Live via Skype. Hello there. Hey, uh, earlier, hey. were you guys, I think you were talking about uh, technology and uh, lack of connection or, I guess, intimacy. Yes, you know, uh, there like was a, a larger story about humans' opinion or people's opinions about robots, and that was a statistic in there that almost one out of two people feel that technology is disconnecting people from people. Okay, I I think that overall, people are actually more connected to each other by technology, because. For instance, we are able to instantly discuss common interests with people halfway around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a lot of friends in, in my specific interests, you know, in Germany or uh, uh, Japan, and we're able to instantly communicate. What we are able to do now on the Internet, like video, tele, uh, video teleconferencing, was science fiction when I was a kid. Sure, sure. You know, every day I'm using Skype to see my family on the other side of the globe. Now, I can understand some of the uh, other side of the coin, too, because with with this uh, gift, it's also easy to get distracted yes. and, and lose a sense of presence. Uh, to give you an example of that, uh, I was in the Navy in, in the mid-'80s, and we made a port visit to Hong Kong. And this was before cell phones became a real big thing in the U.S. 
And it was just amazing to me to walk down the streets in Hong Kong, very, very crowded Friday night, Saturday night. And people were walking down both sides of the street in groups, obviously, you know, out for a night on the town with each other. And everyone had a cell phone in their hand and they were talking to somebody else. They were obviously with hmm. their group of friends, but talking to somebody else. Huh. It was just amazing. You know, I, I, I had this fantasy that what they were actually doing was this one group was talking to another group walking on the other side of the street in the other direction. <laughs> Probably checking to see where the good clubs are. I remember, you know, when I did bar hopping back in the day that uh, people were always thinking that there's a better thing going on in another location. <laughs> and uh, Are you really going to get the drinks that much cheaper? I, I, or was I, it the girls? What was the better thing? Well, but it would be people of the opposite sex, yeah. the dancing, the, um, you know, the, the drinks, maybe there's mm -hmm. drink specials, maybe there's this particular band, um, whatever it is that the they were looking for. The grass is always greener. Yeah, the grass is always greener. Yeah, so that the, the main thing is to enjoy the gifts that modern technology gives, but also try to enhance your sense of what I call presence. I think there's a there's a, this idea in uh, some of the Buddhist uh, traditions and in you know the meditational techniques of trying to actually be completely present in the moment. Mm, sure. You know, it's very difficult. There. Yeah, it is. And it's it's so easy to get distracted and the mind wanders. And because of technology, it's easy to lose that connection. So I, I think it's a good idea to every once in a while just unplug and try to be completely present wherever you are with whoever you are with. I like the idea. Um, oftentimes what I find is is the people that, you know, like I find myself bored. I mean, you know, the, whatever. I, often I'll uh, be having a conversation. I want to know the facts. So I'll pick out my cell phone. I'll start, uh, you know, researching what it was we were just talking about because, you know, these uh, these hairless monkeys that occupy the seven billion of them on, on this planet that occupy this space, they really don't know know very much um, individually, but together and aggregate on the internet, they have lots of facts. So I want to know the answer to the questions that we're talking about, not, um, you know, just hear what the people I'm t listening to have to say. So, uh, you know, I'll get on the cell phone and then I'll do a little research and pretty soon I'm researching this topic and, I'm, I'm, you know, I've gone, I've tuned out of the conversation. Yeah. It's a, you know, we live in a very magical time because of the internet and this technology, but, uh, the, the thing is to, to enjoy that and and to take advantage of it, but not to lose our sense of humanity. I think it's a challenge. Uh, I think that uh, that a lot of people have a difficult time with it because they are these devices are so distracting because you can go and get any piece of information that you seek in any moment. And because your mind will wander, you know, maybe you aren't being fully present in a conversation. Somebody says something, you uh, you hear a word, and that makes you think of something else. And then before you know it, you've got the phone up to look up the number for the pizza joint down the street or whatever it is, you know, that you're that you're doing. It's not always a problem, but it certainly can be, and I think that's acknowledgeable. And, and uh, like for instance, the times when Mark has played video games during the show segments have been not what, what, are you not his at my shining, screen? has been not his shining moments because he'll get distracted by them, and he shouldn't be doing those things during the show segments. So it helps when you can pay attention, when you can look into somebody's eyes. The same reason I won't let somebody host this show remotely. Um, I mean, Allie hasn't been on in a few weeks. I don't know what you – know, she didn't show up tonight. If she had asked me if she could show, uh, you know, do the show remotely, I'd have told her no uh, because you're not in the same room. I can't make eye contact with you. It's not the same – situation is not the same level of connection that people have and it's great to be on skype with somebody let me tell you i think it's cool like i don't have your video on tonight tied just simply because there's no reason to use that bandwidth if we're doing broadcasting but we've had you on video in the past and it's cool to be able to see you sitting there uh, I'd but love ultimately, to have, there's hosts that I'd love to have on as co-hosts, like uh, Jeffrey Tucker we had on as a guest last night. Yeah, he should I move know, to New Hampshire. I know he would be willing to do co-hosting uh, remotely, but, mm -hmm. you know, he lives in Auburn. And um, Stefan Molyneux, he's offered to do co-hosting with us. And I'm, you know, I'm rabid to have these people on. That would be wonderful, but you got to be in the studio to do Free Talk Live, and that's Ian's yeah, rule. You, yeah, you just have to be aware of the uh, advantages and disadvantages of technology. Mm -hmm. But I, I love the, the age that we live in. I think it's just wonderful. It's it's almost like magic. Thanks, Ty. I appreciate your call tonight. Yeah, it, it definitely is a double-edged sword. And if you're cognizant of that fact, then I think you can do better with it. Although that said, you know, I admit I've got, I struggle with it. 
it's a challenge for me to get things done. I feel like I spend way too much time on Facebook obsessing over that damn notification thing and trying to keep that clear for some reason. <laughs> and yeah, I just don't care. You don't care. Well, good for you. Um, I used to, I used to not care, but now I, I, it's a problem. It's a, it's a real problem for me, and I have to pull myself away from it. I have to realize what I'm doing. I have well, to one of the things that you are into, you, you just love to scrap with people on the internet. It's just your favorite thing to do. You love to <laughs> to egg them on till they want to fight, and then when they want to fight, you want to fight them some more. That is not true. That's my not god, true. man. I do enjoy it every now and to then. Yourself. Every I now and then. I watch it happen all the time. Look, um, I am commenting on the, the new f- Stop Freaking Facebook. Right. What's uh, the, the new first website? Facebook page you look at every <laughs> single day? It's the it's your enemies. Stop freaking. They are not my enemies. They're just confused neighbors. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Maybe they think of me as their enemy. Why but... don't you leave their page alone then? Let's let them sit around in their confusion. Oh, it's entertaining. I like to read what they're saying. <laughs> That's because you why like do you read the, with Why them. do you read the funnies in the morning? Because it's entertaining. You when like you're reading effing the with these people. I don't. What do you mean? I can't even speak in their group. I don't know what you're talking about. I believe about. that you just posted that you can now speak on their. You're, you're so excited. They now have you, a you website. You can now post on their Facebook page. Yes. Oh, there's. Or I mean, their their web their web page. <laughs> oh my goodness! Now I can chase after them a little more. Well, if it'll keep me off of Facebook, it's probably a good thing. It's just interacting. No, and- I. No, I mean, really, the only reason I want to be able to talk to these people is because they're they are our neighbors here in the area. The folks at some of the folks at Stop Free Keen. For those of you just tuning in, Stop Free Keen is a uh, organization to some extent of people locally who are upset about liberty activism happening here in the Keen area. And I think that they have a lot of misinformation. And when they are able to just post misinformation and lies without it being rebutted. That's uh, I don't like that, and so it's really more of an information correction, trying to get the other side of the story out than anything else. And I don't consider them my enemies at all. I I want to have a conversation with them, and I know uh, James Robin Hood Cleveland is currently writing up a letter to the editor right now, officially inviting them to have uh, an open conversation, which they don't seem to want to have. We're coming up here in moments. This is Free Talk Live. Are you planning a vacation and trying to make your whole family happy? I want a hotel with convenient locations and continental breakfast. It better have internet. Don't forget, we're on a budget. America's Best Value Inn has you covered with all this and more at most of our 1,000 hotels in North America. Plus, join the Value Club for instant room discounts, upgrades, and late checkout. Yes, I can sleep in. Visit AmericasBestValueInn.com and make even your grumpiest teenager happy. Kid, if something in this facility breaks, bends, or bursts, Granger's got our back. 20 cases of disc springs from Granger.com, new rotary encoder ordered on Granger's mobile app, a dozen splash goggles from the local Granger branch. What more could you want in life? Granger has over 1 million products for all our facility's needs. 1 million. That's a 1 followed by 6 zeros, kid. Everything we need whenever we need it. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com, or stop by. Granger. For the ones who get it done. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw for free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congress Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. 
the people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Talk Live, bring up what you want. Toll free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. Skype into the show. Username there is lrn.fm. Get interactive at freetalklive.com for free. Shinybadges.com. You probably have heard the jingle here on Free Talk Live. It is, um, you know, it's a great website. Go check it out. But if you haven't had a chance to go to the causes tab there at shinybadges.com, you'll get something unique. Not only do they have a beautiful, beautiful badges and other sorts of gear there available for sale, but these particular ones under the causes tab. They go to support liberty-oriented organizations that you may find very interesting. For instance, for instance, excuse me, the Bitcoin Not Bombs hoodie, you can get that, and support Bitcoin Not Bombs hoodie, the homeless campaign, 2014, the anti-war pen. Well, buy that, and you support antiwar.com. Silk, the Silk Road pen of uh, the green camel with the the rider mm -hmm. uh, from uh, Silk Road. The website yep. goes to support the Russ Albrecht Legal Defense Fund. The Cop Block badge goes to support, of course, Cop Block. So go check it out, the Causes pad, uh, tab at shinybadges.com. All right, we continue here. Of course, you can bring up anything. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. said we were going to have some numbers for you about people and their opinions uh, regarding these political parties. Are they fed up? Mark, you've got the story. Yep, uh, well, they're kind of fed up. A new Rasmussen report uh, reports National Telephone Survey that uh, it's found that 53% of likely U.S. voters think that it's fair to say that neither party in Congress is the party of the American people. That's up six points from 47% last October and matches the previous high found in June 2012 during the last national election cycle. So during election cycles... The, the pattern here is is that, uh, I should go on, just 28% disagree while 19% aren't sure. I always love the not sures. Um, <laughs> so during election cycles here, Americans are becoming more convinced over the last two election cycles that neither party in Congress represents them. And I think that this is a growing trend here in the United States. Well, the, the approval rating has certainly been shrinking on Congress. Right. The approval rating continues to go down. Um, pretty soon, Congress, uh, I think cholera is going to pass Congress as far as the, the approval rating goes. More people liking uh, sexually communicable diseases than Congress. Um, it, it, it's... It's stunning to see what's happening to the political process here in the United States. And honestly, this gives me hope. It's up, actually, Mark. It's up from 9% to 13%. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's like a 50% increase. Stunning. I couldn't couldn't believe it. I That's the job approval rating? Uh, Congress job approval rating, yes. Okay. 
Um, maybe it's that was as of January, so I don't know what it is this month. I apologize. Honestly, I like what Congress is doing because they're not getting anything done. So maybe there are okay. people like me that are you know approving. Yes, mm. I am pleased that Congress is doing nothing. Gotcha. Um, when they when these people get together and decide they are going to do something, that's when I really get scared. Mm. So maybe that's what maybe that's what you're seeing. I don't know, but I think that. I find it heartening that people are becoming more and more disenchanted with the two-party system, the political pro- process generally, that we're yeah, liable sure. to see some kind of positive change in the world. You see things like the uh, Jasmine revolutions in the Muslim countries. Have they resulted in anything good? Nah, not necessarily. But the the fact that people are disenchanted with current government paradigms says to me that there's going to be some big changes. The last time we saw stuff mm. like this, the empires fell. When you saw the, uh, let's, let's call it for lack of a better word, the sort of the socialist uprising of the mid to late 19th century, you saw that culminate in war, at, you know, World War I, the Ottoman Empire collapsed. Four empires collapsed. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, during World War One, uh, the Russians, uh, the Germans, when it, their their empire went away, the king, essentially the Kingdom of England, like uh, there was no longer a kingdom as much after World War One. Um, obviously, Aust- the Austrians too. Um, so things changed dramatically in the go. Uh, France was already a republic for what it was worth, but things changed dramatically at that point. Um, it took until World War. Uh, two for the Japanese Empire to uh, to crumble. Um, one may argue that the U.S. Empire hasn't. Uh, I think that there's. It's a- hopefully on its last legs, though. Well, I don't know. I mean, is it an empire? Is it a head? They call it a is hegemony. It? How many countries does the U.S. military occupy? That seems pretty empire to me. I mean, it's got what, bases in more than a hundred something, more than one hundred and thirty nations. Um, got more than a thousand bases in one hundred and thirty yeah. nations. I would say, if anything qualifies as as an empire, it would be the United States federal government. Well, an empire is a little different. There's a reason they use the term hegemony instead of empire. Why is that? Okay. Well, hegemony says that they put up. Puppet, st- puppet rulers in client states. I see. Right? So, um, Whereas an empire is just an outright rule? Is right. that what you're saying? India, England ruled India. End of story. Yeah. Whereas um, the United States doesn't rule Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia basically can do what it wants as long as um, you know they, they continue to ship oil over the United States. Mm-hmm. You know, this is a country with a king that uh, you know is working with a country that rebelled against its king 200 years ago. So um, it's it's obviously hypocritical. So basically, a hegemony is smarter than an empire because it's what it is because you know if if you are ruled by the people from your own plot of land, then that's better right. than being ruled by somebody from another plot of land to people's minds, right? So as long as the U.S. government agents can have an undue amount of influence over the rulers in those countries ultimately the u.s government is ruling by a detached sort of means in many ways that's the case yeah. um so certainly i think it's also so it's not in- as obvious i think it's there. also interesting um, when you look at places like alaska and hawaii uh, i mean you know these are places that are being ruled by a um an absent you know, like the you know absent and distant Ruler Washington mm-hmm. D.C. It makes you it, you know makes you wonder why the Port, Puerto Rico why do they why do they want to put up with it I don't know um, no answer people but, will put up with a lot I it mean, usually has that. to do with the standard of living they'll put up with a lot if if they're comfortable if they're comfortable that's yeah. really what it comes down to so anyway going on here by a plurality forty seven percent they believe the Democratic Party has a plan for where it wants to take the nation which is up slightly from the low forties in the prior surveys back in uh, you know twenty ten thirty percent think that President Obama's party does not have a plan for the future and twenty three percent are undecided by contrast thirty eight percent of the Republicans uh, believe that they have a plan for what where they want to take the nation so you're at forty seven to thirty eight I don't know. As though their plan is anything besides reward their friends and punish their enemies. Well, well let's not forget that the um, that forty seven percent believe the Democratic Party has a plan for where it wants to take the nation. However, fifty three percent believe that neither party represents in Congress represents the American people. Yeah. So they believe they have a plan. They just think the plan is not evil. their plan. Right. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so. That I find uh, to be sort of mm. interesting too in these. I always think it's uh, well, or and well, we don't know if it's the same group, right? So it was fifty three percent that said they don't trust them, right? 
Well, but 46% that think that the Dems have a plan? Uh, yeah, 47. Well, how about this So one? that could be the yeah. other 47%. Here, this, this, here's, I saved this one for last for you, Ian, because I know how you like this. Um, 6% of voters now think that Congress is doing a good or excellent job. All right. 855, so, <laughs> 450 free. That's better than the 13% that is approving in the uh, January 14th, 2014. When was this article uh, published? This was from earlier this week. Okay. So uh, 24th. You've got the fresh numbers there. Down to 6%. Job no, it wasn't approval rating. earlier this week. Late, more can, Late uh, April. Late April. All right. More Still more recent. More on the way here on Free Talk Live. Share your thoughts. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks... Why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It 
It's Free Talk Live, and we're inviting you to bring up anything you want here. You don't have to talk about your opinions about politicians. Apparently, most Americans are about sick and tired of it. Unfortunately, only about 53% of them. I was hoping the numbers would be better than that. Uh, But apparently, they are improving over time. More people are becoming more frustrated with this two-party political system. Isn't that right, Mark? Well, well, there's... You know, different pieces of information you can get out of this. So uh, a Rasmussen Reports National Telephone Survey finds that 53% of likely U.S. voters think it's fair to say that neither party in Congress is the party of the American people. Yeah, they're the party of their party and their buddies. And, uh, yeah, whoever their corporate paymasters are. Yes. But also, 6% of voters now think that Congress is doing a good or excellent (laughs) job. So, um yeah, and 72% say it would be better for the country if most incumbents in Congress were defeated this November, but not our incumbent in our district. Mm. You're now, adding that. I'm adding last that. Part. I just think that it's, it, well, I mean, you know, it's important that 6% of voters uh, think that Congress is doing less than a good job. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's, a, that's good news. And that 53% think that, because I really don't think that the parties represent the American people. I just, I don't. How could they? I think that they represent some things that uh, the American people say, and they, you know, people tend to sort of gravitate towards the party their mom or dad liked, and mm-hmm. they tend to gravitate towards, uh, you know, one or two issues that are important to them, and then they'll just sort of take the rest of the crap the party's about. But like they know that they're allying themselves with a group of liars and thieves. They're aware of that information. Yes, I have decided to take the liars and thieves that tell the lies and um, do the stealing in the way that I prefer, because I want to be lied to by my political party in a way that makes me comfortable. And it's just so disingenuous. I, I you know, at what point are people just going to say, "Yeah, I just can't, I just can't do this crap anymore." Can't go vote. I don't know what they're going to do. Precisely, not voting doesn't solve anything. No, it sure doesn't. Voting doesn't solve anything, and not voting doesn't solve anything. Right. They're very entrenched, and I think the only thing that could solve anything would be to get to New Hampshire if you love the ideas of liberty and and get out of the United States. There's no reason to stick around in this organization. Let's leave. Secession, now. You you love to do the secession thing, and I don't think that there's necessarily any particularly good reason for secession. I think You're more likely to have secession— In a place like New Hampshire or Vermont than you are to ever have control over the Congress of the United States. I'm I'm with you that uh, that I think that if you are excited about secession that perhaps and you are believe in the ideas of liberty that perhaps New Hampshire is a great place for you to be. If you're excited about secession and love the ideas of socialism, Vermont might be a very great place. But I think you can do as much, if not more, um, from the secessionist agenda simply by nullifying federal laws Mm -hmm. on a state level, and those things are being done far more um, regularly, or at least talked about far more regularly by people in New Hampshire. I mean, there was the real ID thing where it got nullified um, in New Hampshire, and yeah, you know, states, it's and New, New Hampshire nullified still... with, uh, with medical marijuana. Yep, that's true. Not to say I don't support those things, Mark. I do. I just think that we need to talk about secession and get that discussion on the table so I'm people fine, can fine with that. I don't legitimately think that... consider it as an option instead of believing that it's some sort of thing that has been left in the past and that it's no longer on the table due to the Civil War. If we put it back on the table, it's going to be back on the table, and that's going to take some political action. It's going to take people getting elected here in New Hampshire, and of course, the Free State Project is working on getting people elected. Many of the movers here are very excited about the upcoming uh, the upcoming election season, which will be starting up officially here in about a month in New Hampshire. People will be filing for office. We'll see how many uh, Free State Project participants throw in. We already know there's about a dozen Free Staters who are elected, but some of them aren't running again, like Mark Warden, uh, one of our sponsors. Are you certain of that? Here, I've heard he is. Well, I've heard he's not running for state rep. I don't know if that means he's not going to run for anything else, but that's what I've heard. Okay. And uh, you know, it's it's a grueling thing to be a state representative in New Hampshire. I mean, you don't get paid squat. You get 100 bucks a year and a gas stipend. And right. you're up there during the, during at least the winter months, you're up there three days a week. I mean that's a that's a pretty big three or four I think in some cases it depends on that's how a big commitment well it depends on how much you want to commit I mean you can be <laughs> you could not go that's true you can I just mean, not go you could make the argument that if for instance a free state project participant or anyone who loves liberty were elected in Keene New Hampshire and just didn't go that it would be a net benefit for New Hampshire because the the people who are elected in Keene are like the worst of the worst 
most state-oriented people. They get Ds and Fs regularly on the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance ratings. So if you have somebody who just doesn't vote on anything, just doesn't even go, that's an improvement for freedom. Well, or you can just go and one day a week or two days a week and yeah. do the voting on the bills. You could. Um, that's true. The actual bills. You don't but have to Mark do the But Mark goes stuff. every time. He like does. He goes he does. and he's, he's on committed. a committee and, you know. He's at he's at it, so I can understand why you'd burn out on that I, over a couple I, of terms. Certainly, uh, do not disagree with that statement. Which again is another to another extent a benefit of New Hampshire is that in a lot of cases people don't want to stay in the legislature. They want to get back to their lives. They got businesses. Most everybody in the legislature is either retired or they've got a business of their own or something like that. You know, some sort of job or whatever, something they're doing with their life, something that is their profession as opposed to being a politician, which is more of something that they they're doing for what they consider to be the benefit of the people in New Hampshire. Well, the Free State Project isn't about secession, and no, uh, the not. Free State Project is far more about you know taking one state and making it as free as possible. I think nullification is definitely in that picture, and it is much more likely. It can be done on issue to issue, and sure. you can achieve all the goals that one wishes to achieve with secession. No, you can't. Not all, not all of them. Not the like secession what? part. Not this right, just not the secession part. And it would be nice to see somebody propose nullifying the IRS, but that's not on the table. I mean, so there's well, a lot today. more that could be done. So anyway, uh, go to freestateproject.org. You can learn more about that. And something else you should learn about is gold and silver. If you haven't really thought hard on gold and silver as a protection for you, we talked earlier tonight about how it is that food prices are uh, going up. You know, over time the Government is printing out more money, and that money is chasing around the same amount of goods, and so therefore the price goes up. Uh, you, if you actually look at the prices of buying things in gold and silver over time, like a gallon of gasoline, for instance, you look at price of gallon of gas, it looks like it's up quite a bit compared to what it might have been a decade or mm -hmm. two decades ago. However, it turns out that the price of a gallon of gas, when you compare it to the price of silver over all of the years, stays relatively on par with you know the price of silver as far as like... You get the same amount of gas for the same amount of silver today versus 60 years ago or 20 years ago or whatever. Now, I'm making a very general statement. Obviously, there are going to be times in, when the, in that time frame where that's not exactly true, mm. but it's it's my understanding. You know, Same thing with like a, an ounce of gold. It might buy you a fine suit of clothes today, and it would have bought you a fine suit of clothes 100 years ago. So. And 2,000 years ago. Exactly. So, uh, but the, the, the fine suit of clothes thing, I mean, that's, that's sort of arbitrary, too. Um, you can get clothes that... Like, for instance, what's gold at $1,200? $1, yep. You can get a suit of clothes for far more than $1,200. Uh, and you can get it for less, too. And you can get it for less. So it's really it's difficult to say. It's a very generic statement it I'm is. making here. But it's a, an example to provide you with the idea that gold and silver can help protect your wealth. Uh, because when you leave money in the form of the Federal Reserve note or whatever uh, government currency then you're subject to the whims of the bureaucrats who are running the money presses. If they want to print more out and make and devalue the money that you have, they can do that, and trust me, they are doing that. So you can put some money into gold and silver by going to gold.freetalklive.com. You can buy through Midas Resources. They are a friend of the show. In fact, they help us produce Free Talk Live by helping us get up on the satellite, the Genesis Communications Network. Our network, our syndicate, is owned by Midas Resources. So when you buy from gold.freetalklive.com, we benefit directly because we get a very small portion of the sale, and we also benefit indirectly in that it helps keep the syndicate in business to continue distributing Free Talk Live to over 140 radio stations from coast to coast, and you win because you get a great price on gold and or silver. And they've got some great pieces, beautiful pieces. And coins. Yep. Uh, over at Midas Resources, just go to gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. You know, we were talking about the secret societies. We had a guy call in earlier to bring up uh, this Ordo, whatever it's called, Ordo Templi Orientis. And, you know, they were going to have a black mass, apparently, tonight at Harvard. That was making headlines. Apparently, it has been canceled. Good. I think it's silly. We'll come back with more here in moments. 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three, and there's also another uh, related story about a town being proposed to have a satanic, some kind of ceremony before their town meeting. It's Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. 
If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial, 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Gentlemen, in search of a million-dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud, the fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste, and safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com. Good people need help. The Homeowners Association said we had weeds and fined us $25. We told them they had the wrong house. They said if we didn't pay it, they'd file a lien. Our attorney demanded photographs, witnesses, and told them if they couldn't provide this, they must cease and desist. Issue solved. Worry less and live more with LSProtection.com. That's LSProtection.com or call 855-340-SAVE. That's 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Free Talk Live. The Supreme Court has ruled over and over again that government has no obligation to provide any services, even services as remedial as protection. They don't have any obligation to provide those services. So therefore, if there is no obligation on their part to provide any services, why should there be an obligation on our part to pay them? Well, there isn't. It's only an obligation of they, you know implement this thing and then you're afraid because they have guns people are scared it's never going to end until we get in over that fear absolutely i mean we're essentially being terrorized by a group of gangsters calling themselves the u.s federal government the only difference between the federal government and a you know a thug on the street is the size of the gang it's time people start treating the irs like the thugs they are Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Moments remain, but enough time for you and your call if you dial now to 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online at freetalklive.com. And if you like the show and you want to help support Free Talk Live, you can shop with us. Just go to shop.freetalklive.com. Enter Amazon through the links you'll find there. There's uh, Amazon US, Amazon UK, Amazon Canada. You just click on the right Amazon for you, Free Talk Live. We'll get a portion of your purchase price. Whatever it is you're buying, Free Talk Live gets a cut, and you get the same great deals you're used to through Amazon. Just go to shop.freetalklive.com. Makes a big difference for us when you do that. Again, shop.freetalklive.com. 
So there's a Satanism has been in the news recently. There's of course the Satanic Temple, which has been uh, designing the, uh, the the Baphomet statue that they want to put up next to the Ten Commandments at the Oklahoma State House. And there was actually an article in Vice.com about the head of the Satanic Temple, where he basically admitted to being a troll. I mean, essentially that he he comes right out pretty much and says yeah. he doesn't really believe in Satan. He's just trolling. Yes, it's essentially the short version of the the interview from Vice. Honestly, I believe that this is the largest percentage of people that are interested in Satanism, uh, purport to say some reason, you know, just interested in it, is just people that are trolling. Because yeah. they've found that, uh, you know, that that people of you know, religious bends that want to be able to sort of practice uh, their religion in ways that— In public ways. Yeah, I guess in, in ways government. that would be, um, you know, that some would argue are, um, are, are a violation of uh, their constitutional rights. Mm-hmm. That the only way to sort of combat that is to find some— ludicrous position and and troll like so for instance the flying spaghetti monster is the other one of these um there's satanism to and, a lesser extent and and the flying spaghetti monster the, the flying spaghetti monster is more obvious parody i think on its face to, to people who are looking at it yes whereas the satanists is not so much people are really f- afraid and scared right. by the Satanists. so it's a way to really sort of upset people yeah um, oh, and yeah. The it so, works. so there was a, a Supreme Court ruling. I can't remember which state, New York or Pennsylvania or something like that. I that, have it here. That said that in fact, uh, yes, it's fine to say a public prayer before the beginning of a town meeting. And this was the Supreme Court, apparently. Uh, right, town ver- ter- town U.S. Of, Supreme Court. Yes, supposedly. Town of Greece. I've got a link here that'll uh, verify that for me. The story is from rawstory.com, and yes, it was the Supreme Court. There's another story out of Raw Story, which is a validation of that so claim. Fine. So, yes. So, U.S. Uh, Supreme Court says that it's fine to say prayers a prayer. Prayers are okay before town meetings. They do not violate the Constitution's ban on endorsing religion. This according to Town of, of Greece versus Galloway. Um, and now, as after three days after that decision has been made, Raw Story reporting that a self-styled Satanist in Deerfield Beach, Florida— has asked city officials to let him open a meeting with a satanic prayer. Chaz Stevens, who made headlines in December when he forced Florida Governor Rick Scott to allow him to erect an eight-foot-tall Festivus pole made of Pabst Blue Ribbon beer cans <laughs> next to Deerfield Beach's nativity manger, this guy is uh, awesome, told the New New Times he recently converted from Pabst, okay, Pabst Festian, as in Pabst beer, Pabst Festian. Uh-huh. Because, quote, Satan is a cool dude. He says, went on to say, think of all the people he's in charge of. Do you want to be stuck listening to harp music in the afterlife? Hell no. I want to drink beer and hang with hookers. He then tackled a more serious course, adding, quote, I just want equal billing. We allow various religious nut jobs to give a prayer. They pray to Jesus, who is make-believe, God, who is make-believe, why not Satan, who is make-believe? So there he is right there in the newspaper article giving it up that he doesn't actually believe in Satan. Right, and, and I mean, this is the... So if the U.S. Supreme Court's going to say that a prayer's, uh, you know, at a town meeting is fine and constitutional, if one cares or believes strongly in this issue, I do not, but if one does, they're left with the troll, um, you know, the, uh, the, the, the play. Mm-hmm. And what else are you going to do if you say, well, you know, you're going to have, uh, yeah, we can have, sure, we can have, we can have prayers, day. but not Satanic prayers. Well, whatever. At that point, now we've got to represent every single, this is the, this is the inefficiency of religion in the public sphere is because there's so many of them. Okay, well, you know, this week it's Satanism. Next week it's Odin. Um, the week after that mm. it's Vishnu, and uh, you know, the eight-armed, uh, uh, you know, uh, elephant-headed guy. Uh, whatever. I don't, you know, I mean, it, it, at some point or another, it just gets absolutely ludicrous. Mm. And this is the thing about sort of the upset uh, that I think that the atheists have right now. I'm not going to say. I think the atheists are often angry. Would and the atheists be allowed to give a prayer in front of the town town council? I would bet they'd be denied. I because it's not a religion. And maybe this guy will be denied because he's admitting he's admitting he doesn't actually believe in Satan. I have no idea, but one thing that I think the atheists have right is uh, their idea that you're an atheist on every other religion. 
<laughs> right? Uh, like, you know, I mean, I have no problem uh, w- when I was a Christian. I had no problem looking at the Quetzalcoatl, um, you know, and the, the religion of the Aztecs mm-hmm. as a bunch of hooey. Um, and I'm I'm not an atheist. I think that, uh, you know, I think there's a God. But, you know, my view of God's probably different than yours, and that's fine. Your view is different than somebody else's. And, sure. you know, at some point or another, if everybody's going to – we're going to have seven billion views on what God's like. Let's just keep the prayers to a – Let's just go they only ahead. have so many city council meetings every year. You, you can only give so many invocations. D- give a moment of silence. I mean, this is how so many schools get sure. around this. Uh, when I went to school, they had the moment of silence uh, after after they did the uh, pledge indoctrination thing. They did the moment of silence. Have your moment of silence for thirty seconds. And then let's move on. The guy in this case, Chaz Stevens, says, Why discriminate against one make-believe God over another? Satan and I are being circumvented. The city of Deerfield Beach has once again declared war on religion, and this time it's Satanism. Ross Story spoke to Stevens, who said he had had contacted the city attorney and was told that he had no comment on the status of the request. The full text of Stevens' letter is as follows. Dear city of Deerfield Beach, with a recent U.S. Supreme Court ruling, that's good, just bringing their attention right to it, Uh, allowing prayer before commission meetings and seeking the rights granted to others. I hereby am requesting I be allowed to open a commission meeting, praying for my God, my divine spirit, my dude in charge. Be advised, I am a Satanist. Let me know when this is good for you. And I presume the city has not yet gotten back to uh, this gentleman and will... Yeah, they don't know what to do. They will likely drag their feet as long as they possibly can... Uh, Stevens also shared with Raw Story a request he sent to Sherry Rout, administrative assistant with the Department of Management, to open a session of the Florida State Senate also with a prayer to Satan. Quote, good morning to you. Hope all is well. I have two items I need assistance with. One, I'd like to once in, uh, once again install my PBR Festivus poll in the rotunda during the upcoming winter holiday season, which <laughs> he was able to successfully sue to get to do that, apparently. So this this guy is, is this isn't new ground for him. He's done this before. And he says, secondly, given the recent Supreme Court ruling in Greece, I would like to open a session with a prayer to my God, Satan. Please advise me on how to seek approval for that. So, you know, to some extent, to me, I find this a waste of time. This guy and everybody else that's sort of arguing about this stuff to be yeah. just a colossal waste of time. But to him, it's important. Well, I don't know if it is. He's, he sounds like he's having a good old time. If he wasn't, I mean, right, but it's important to him. Obviously, he would uh, focus on other things if it weren't. And this guy's insulted by the idea that religions are able to open government meetings, and he wants to make a point about that. And I think he's making a good point about that. I, I'm wondering. Well, I think it's in, I think it's interesting. But here's what I wonder: is, is I wonder how far does one go with this? There's, for instance, a, t- a city in uh, Texas called Corpus Christi. Do you know what this means? Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Yeah. Now, are we going to re- Are we going to force the people <laughs> of Corpus Christi? Maybe for there are likely their some world? atheists who would like to change that name. I bet you there are. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, this is a clearly a government thing. Mm-hmm. But to me, um, you know, San Rafael references sort of the historicity of the founding of a town, and that's fine yeah. by me. I don't care if you call, you know, your town Las Cruces, and, and we're going to keep it that way. I, or Saint whatever. Right, and I, I have no idea what Massachusetts means in, in whatever Indian language or Tallahassee or any of these things. They could very well be religious references, too. I don't... You know, at some point or another, I'd really like to kind of get past this trolling you know like this this nonsense <laughs> it'll never end well as where does the- it where does it end and this is the thing is is that like for instance you get these uh these 10 commandments out in front of some courthouses mm-hmm. now these things in many cases have been there for decades right uh and you know do we pull these things out and just throw sod down and then uh you know okay here you can keep it at the american legion hall put it there Sounds or, like an okay idea to me. Or uh, you know, or do we if we, if if they're getting a bunch of requests from Satanists to put up whatever, then the only thing that makes sense to do is to say no to everybody, right? And isn't that what you want to see? Well, you happen? can only have one name of a town. If that same town yeah. is named Corpus Christi, do we have to now change it to the body of Fred? <laughs> Oh, good question. Out of time for tonight. See you tomorrow night online. In the meantime, at freetalklive.com. There's a truck. Hi, I'm Montel Williams 
Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, a fitness writer, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Like many of the million people who are living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every single day. And sometimes my nerves are so raw that if you brushed up against me in an elevator, I'd scream. I can't sleep at night from the pain, and sometimes the spasms in my legs are so intense they will wake me up throughout the night. I've tried the strongest prescription medications available, and I'm going to tell you, they do not work. In fact, they leave me in a stupor, and most of the time, it's impossible to even live your life. Now, I've tried medical marijuana, and I'm going to tell you something, it works. If you'd like more information about medical marijuana, you can contact the Marijuana Policy Project at mpp.org or call 1-877-JOIN-MPP. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Liberty Conspiracy is next, after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, May 12th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.47 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,296 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $439. The BBC reports self-rule referendums have been held in Ukraine's easternmost areas, with separatists claiming nearly 90% voted in favor in Donetsk region. BBC reporters at polling stations in Donetsk and Luhansk spoke of chaotic scenes, no voting booths in places, and no electoral register. At least one person is reported to have been killed by armed men loyal to Ukraine's government. Ukraine called the vote a criminal farce organized by Russia. Western countries have also condemned the vote. Separatist leaders ignored a call by Russian President Vladimir Putin to delay the vote. The head of the Donetsk People's Republic Election Commission told journalists that 89% voted in favor of self-rule, with 10% against, and a turnout of nearly 75%. A Donetsk separatist leader, Denis Pushilin, told one Russian news agency that once the results are announced, all Ukrainian military troops in the region would be considered an occupying force. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. Fox News reports Democrats are thinking about using internet balloting in 2016 to expand their voter base and select their presidential candidate, prompting Republicans to consider such a strategy to keep from losing ground. Iowa Democrats proposed the idea and several others during a recent DNC meeting, saying internet balloting could expand access to their unique caucus process to overseas military personnel, absentee voters, and others. They have already conducted some interviews and are now embarking on a listening tour to get input from party activists, caucus experts, and others, according to Iowa Democratic Party spokeswoman Christina Freundlich. She told Fox News, we're looking at different options. Democrats are always looking at ways to get more people in 2016 to participate in the democratic process. The idea of online voting is nothing new, but Iowa Democrats considering the idea with DNC support has reignited debate on the issue. 
Hans von Spakovsky of the Heritage Foundation thinks computer-based voting will never happen, or at least not in the foreseeable future, and says, I think it's a very bad idea. Von Spakovsky made his case Friday in large part by citing examples of online voting gone wrong, including a 2010 test run in the District of Columbia. The city's Board of Elections and Ethics suspended its new internet-based voting system just days into the test run after observing Observers reportedly heard the University of Michigan fight song when trying to cast a vote. It was the work of a Michigan professor who was assisting in the project and who challenged his students to hack into the system. You've heard of shinybadges.com, but you need to check out the new causes tab. Every item in that section includes a donation to a worthy liberty project like Hoodie the Homeless. So go to shinybadges.com, click on the new causes tab, and get yourself a quality product that not only supports the cause you believe in, but starts a conversation with your neighbors. Plus, get a free gift when you pay with Bitcoin at shinybadges.com. USA Today reports, after 32 months, the Washington Monument is finally set to reopen after it suffered widespread damage in an August 2011 earthquake along the East Coast. Public tours of the Washington Monument will begin today at 1 p.m. Philanthropist David Rubenstein matched the $7.5 million in public funds allocated by Congress.